do and and we are live all right mr josh welcome so much to the channel i i don't know if we've had you on a live stream yet but uh if you guys don't know josh he is a pillar of the community and we love having him around you are talking to the number one orc in the uktc last year isn't that right sir yes and currently so far at the moment this season as well oh my goodness he's currently the number one orc of the season well we have a treat for you guys tonight so what we decided to and do we are live oh, gotta mute oh. myself on my stream sorry about that <laughs> uh so essentially what we're looking at doing tonight is we're gonna see can the golden bananas rally is it possible for us to take this travesty of a codex and make them usable versus the orcs now we're not running the bully boys i think it's uh, kind of clear that the bully boys are just going to run through <laughs> custodes so we decided to run with uh, one of the not as broken but still amazing detachments for the orcs we have the big hunt josh if you want to kind of introduce yourself a little bit at all and then kind of tell us your army let's uh, let's get into it Hey, so I'm Josh. I've been playing Orcs competitively pretty much non-stop since the Beast Snagger box came out, so probably about two and a half years, yes. with essentially no break on playing Orcs in competitive. I've played one tournament game of Death Guard <laughs> so far on TTS, uh, and I am, yeah, I've been bringing back one of my favorite kind of lists, all the pigs. I had quite a lot of success with this kind of list in the index, was able to get a four and one. I think it came like twenty fifth LGT with uh, a list like this, that, and that was even in the Forge Fiend meta. So I still think it can very much work now when there isn't things that can table you in one turn. <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, I haven't tried the big hunt yet. I've been playing the Bully Boys. I agree. There's not really much point putting it on stream <laughs> massively because it is just very good. Everybody knows it's very good. It's already probably kind of figured out the core so let's try something new pretty much and i will i do want to give a real quick shout out because we got someone in chat to mr psycho eddie today's uh stream is going to be sponsored by kind of no one but he did give me some authentic german beer uh which is freaking delicious and i am going to be enjoying it tonight so what is it called beer so uh yeah it's, it's actually pretty beer, sick. Eh? yeah are you not enjoying beer, beer? Let me go get myself a beer. Yeah, hundred percent. Get you a beer. All right, I'm gonna go and break down my list while you're getting beer. <laughs> All right, and we got Ryan Bragg Jensen who's saying he's watching this when you should be at work. Well, listen, bro, getting better at 40k is a job, homie. So let's go ahead and through go through the talons of the Emperor detachments. Um, essentially, what we have here is we have a attempt to make custodes viable. So the detachment rule is going to mean if I'm within six inches of a custode unit with my adept with my uh, sisters units, then they will get a five up against their mortals. And then um, if my sisters are within six inches of my custodes, they'll get plus one to hit, which is the most useless rule I've ever heard of. Anyway. Um, I have two units of guard, one four man, one five man, all with spears. The five man is very likely going to be led by Lord Inquisitor Curia Draxus for that sweet, sweet double shoot and the dev wounds. Then I've got a five man of Alaris Terminators. They're going to be led by a shield captain. Now, when I press one, it'll say he has Seasless Hunter, but that's just because uh, we haven't updated new crew and battle, battle uh, scribes so far. So he actually has the Radiant Mantle, which will make he and his unit minus one to be hit if you are within... 12 inches of them which seems like a needless qualifier for enhancement but it is what it is then valerian who is still a champion even though he also got like nerf pedally uh he is going to be leading a unit of wardens the wardens are the exact same as they previously were uh valerian will give them armor of contempt in melee so they are still going to be quite good at just saying not today nerd then I've got two Cletus Grav Tanks. Now, I am notoriously opposed to Cletus Grav Tanks. I hate them. I think they suck. However, with the new Custodes uh, struggle bus we're on, I think they are now officially good. <laughs> now, with this detachment, guys, um, I've got really three stratagems that I'm going to be abusing. And those three stratagems is going to be I get to fall back, shoot, and charge, which is actually good. I really like it. Then I've got a reactive movement strat if he moves within nine inches of me. And then I also have a strat that will give me plus one strength and AP to my shooting, which is also quite good. And the, and, and the problem, the, these are battle tactics, but the issue is that you have to target like a uh, enemy unit with it. So you can't really you know, target them <laughs> for the captain's free stratagem. However, um, I will tell you that 
if I have a Sisters of Silence unit within six inches of my unit when I use the stratagem, then I will be able to uh, use it on the Sisters of Silence as well. So I can kind of do some annoying like move blocking with my reactive moves. Uh, and that is the army. That's what we got. Uh, oh, and, and a Calidus because everyone want to be Calidusing. Mr. Josh, why don't you break it down for us? So I was trying to write this list for a little while. Writing. I had two pick squads in, and I was trying to figure out how to like fill the list. I had Gaz and Meganobs in for a while, uh, but I was like, if we're doing the big hunt, let's do the big hunt. The so hunt. we've got all of the pigs. <laughs> Every pig. The, the, <laughs> the red squad over here will have Scout 9, which is just a ridiculously powerful rule combined with the fact that <laughs> so we can good. advance and start our prey unit on turn 1, so when we're, we're in the war or not. So if uh, Johnny needs to be really careful with his Caladiuses, because I could get into the Caladius turn 1 quite easily, mm -hmm. between 9-inch Scout move, 10-inch move, advance and charge. Uh, I've got the blue Squig unit will always be minus 1 to wound. As long they've changed it slightly from what we used to have on the stratagem, it is now uh, if you, same as the wardens. If okay. Your shot is hard on their toughness. They'll be minus one to wound at all times. So very nice against the Caladiuses. No shot count. Uh, uh, then we have a beast boss. He's had a glow up. He's got an enhancement that makes him damage. -free. And obviously he had dev wounds on the charge, which now. Will be very nice for us custodes because he just one taps a custode on a six. Uh, if it's in uh, guard, <laughs> he has a little harder time killing the Alaris custodians. But the good thing about the Alaris custodians, because they are the warlord, my army rule means if they are my prey, <laughs> which they generally will be probably, I get plus one AP and reroll charges against them. Yep. So that's very nice. And because I assume if they're starting on deep strike, they will be off the board. Uh, actually, you have vehicles, so it doesn't matter anyway. And then we just have a few little units just to do the dirty work. Three squads of Gretchen, two squads of Storm Boys, just to do the bits and pieces for us. Yep, yep. Investigate our signals, do our cleanses, do our homers, do all of that fun stuff that we... So all of the other Killy stuff can go and do the fun stuff. Killy stuff, doing the fun stuff. Well, I think we did the uh, the uh, the armies. Guys, if you want to see our list, we have posted them. Uh, I have the pastebin link in the description down below. Uh, I will take a very brief moment just to mention that the Happy Crop and War Gaming Discord is actually pretty freaking awesome. We're super active there. I couldn't be more proud of the community. People there are increasing their skill level every single day, and we're having really high-level conversations in there that honestly... Uh, the admins and stuff, we're not having to start, which is just super freaking cool because, man, people are getting better over there. So we'd love to have any of you who are watching who are not members to join us in there to hang out with us every single day. You can join using either a YouTube membership or Ko-Fi, which you can do down below. You can also book coaching there. Um, membership also comes with the ability to join in our TTS tournaments, which we are currently in the middle of one right now. And uh, I think that's it, man. So I think we just go ahead and start freaking crushing each other. Does that sound right? Sounds good to me. Heck yeah. Um, I think we're both running tactical today. Uh, and let's go ahead and roll for deployments. I'm going to roll a die. I rolled a six. Mm -hmm. Enjoy deploying uh, first, nerd. So I should deploy first. So we have we're a deploying, unit of guard in about, deep strike. I'll talk a little bit about my stratagems while we're deploying. Mm -hmm. So we've got... Uh, some quite interesting stratagems. They all result, mostly resolve around the prey unit. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have mortals on the charge. But the good thing about this one is it's mortals for every member model in the unit, mm -hmm. not people who are in engagement range. So if, a ten ma if the snaggers charge with the beast boss, it's just 11 dice. And then you get plus three dice if you're going against the prey target. And I know Custodes now really like mortals. The so button. Johnny's going to have to be really careful with his sisters. We and his positioning, mortals. because this army can just pound out mortals with six squig bombs. Everybody's got grenades, plus that stratagem. Uh, so we said we can advance and charge the prey. Uh, I think I'll just put. Bot you haven't got any forward deploy, right? No, 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 I've just got. I've got two scout units. That's it. Cool. So Snickrot in this list. I think Snickrot will just come here and make sure your screens can't go where I want to. Uh, your scouts can't end where I want to scout to. Seems reasonable. 
Um, so we also have one CP to get our old army rule back, sustained hits. Oof. And if we're going into the prey unit, it's sustained fives. Now, does that happen that to be a battle tactic? Is a ba that is a battle tactic. That is yes. a battle tactic. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so that is by far the best battle tactic. The other battle tactic is give cover to a unit, which is basically armor of contempt for shooting. Yep. But uh, which is a good strategy, but probably <laughs> sustained hits is probably the one you want to. Right. It seems reasonable. Next, I imagine. And it's probably the one I'll just save two CP for. Anyway. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Quite happily. Uh, let's just shove these over here. So um, I, what am I doing? So I just dropped my Calidus over here. And guys, if you notice the way I measured that, I just put her down. This is just a little trick for TTS. Uh, I put her down within Investigate, and then I moved her seven inches. So I know no matter what, I can move her seven inches wholly within so that she can score me Investigate turn one if I happen to draw it. That's why I, I placed her like that. And Josh is doing literally the exact same thing with the Storm Boys right now. So... Yeah, because that still means they can go to the middle for homers and they're in position to investigate. They can't cleanse, but I'm sure I can figure that out with somebody else. So effectively, your dudes go 19 inches. Is that right? So yeah, theoretically, turn one, uh, if I go first, they'll go 19 inches. And if there's a, if your warlord or your tank is nearby, I'll just slap advance and charge down and we'll go like 28 inches. Yep, that sounds about right to me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drop Miss Curia Draxus' squad. And these nerds can hang out. I want here. One specific about that stratagem with the advanced charge: it only, the prey only has to be one of the targets. You can multi-charge. So if there's a Caladius next to a unit I want to kill, I just put one. I announce the Caladius and the other unit as my charge target, and that's completely fine. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll throw Valerian on this side. So this is the this is not the Warlord. But he's still a total. Um, this is the problematic unit for me. He's a dick. I am <laughs> AP1 almost across the board. Until the Warlord is dead and the two Caladiuses are dead, I can't pick this as the prey unit because I can only pick a character unit once I can't pick any of the specific units for prey. Right. So that unit is going to have to be dealt with with mortals, I think. Yep. Is the name of the game for that? Which, in fairness, isn't too, too difficult for my army. You have a lot of mortals, my friend. Between tank shot grenades, charge mortals, squig bombs, etc., etc. Houston Lou wants to say, he hopes to see custodians are still fun. They're not. <laughs> He's on the fence between yeah. banana boys and blood angels for his army, too. Bro, blood angels are sick. <laughs> um, I, I do actually, just, just so you, you always know, that was like, I'm, I'm saying a little bit of a joke. Currently, no, custodians are not fun, and they do suck, and it is the worst codex GW's ever produced. I actually do think GW is going to fix it. Um, they've shown time and time again, even though their rules writing team kind of sucks, their balance and their development, their, their team that does all the balance is actually pretty freaking amazing. And they've done great work and they've brought us literally the most balanced meta Warhammer's ever had. So I have every confidence in the balance team. Um, you, it won't be fixed in two weeks, but it'll be fixed in probably three three months to six months based off of the balance status leak. So just, just so you know, like, yeah, I'm going to make jokes about Hawkeye studies right now, but I mean, they will be fixed. Uh, They've just proven that, so I, I've got confidence in that. Just to me about Blood Angels, I think Blood Angels are an incredibly good army into Bully Boys. Yeah, I'm thinking so if too. You, if, you, if you think you're running into a Bully Boys meta, the Blood Angels, the Lamartis unit is absolutely terrifying. I don't care about a four up, feel no pain. Ten Inferno <laughs> pistol is still terrifying. Mm -hmm. And Lamartis unit will not take damage from the Mega Nobs on Fight and Death at all he'll lose maybe one or two guys and he will wipe the Meganoms through film and pains if you use the inferno pistols and the uh and charge it's there's just no question about it i'm gonna put my caladius right here uh, he can fit here right yeah there we are. so one one thing i have done in here i've put snick right here in the hope that johnny will not will expect my scout unit to be over here <laughs> yeah, there's no way I, I think his scout move is going to be over here. <laughs> I'm still going to deploy them anywhere, yeah. <laughs> but I just like trying to like be like, oh look, I'm blocking out this area over here. Yeah, right. Uh, so let's position these guys for investigate so that we can investigate and cleanse next time. Everybody likes investigating and cleanse. I'm just going to do the same thing with my prosecutors over here. They're going to move six up. So it's going to be interesting to see the dual role of the sisters now of kind of action monkeys, but also kind of tying the list together. Yeah, right. It's um, 
I'm just scooting these guys to the line because the, uh, I just I meant to. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not sold on it, but I think I think there is some interesting play that we have here. So I think we have some interesting play. All right. That's uh, so why I just put these prosecutors down back here, so they're in range to go back here and investigate. Because again, certain armies you didn't even use the shield host rule, right? There's still armies that just don't do mortals and devs. Uh, I mean, not really. But... Not a lot. Of them. <laughs> like I don't know what army doesn't do any mortals like. Well, not no mortals, but a few grenades isn't worth a, like an army roll. So like, you, there's going to be some armies where you can be a bit more liberal with your sisters than others. Probably fair. Probably fair. Uh, is this the snag a boss? Which one's the, the boss in? Uh, oh, the boss is in the middle. Sorry, I labeled them up. How dare you? I labeled them both. I right. labeled them both snag. What a nerd. Okay, um, I'll go and take Miss Kyria Draxus' squad, and I think they're going to hang out right about here. So the nice thing about being mounted is we're not infantry, so the anti-infantry stuff from Juraxis isn't as scary. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, green, green guy is going to go over here. Green nerds. <laughs> Even in the index, hogs were a bit of a pain for custards, so hopefully they will still be uh oh, man they're talking shit about me in the chat now they're saying i'm freaking running caladius oh mike i had to do it man don't judge me oh, Hoisted by your own facade. oh i hate it it makes me ill but it's the correct way to go right now do the do the um, finally do the smashing knobs actually go no. on smaller bases now uh no they're on the same bases no those smashing knobs base is way bigger than a squid hog base it's Oh, then blame Force Org. That's All right, I'll good. blame Force Org. That's fine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, finally, Johnny admits Jack Harpster was right. No, Jack Harpster is a freaking loon. However, in the current meta with the Custodes how they are, I will I will admit <laughs> now they might be the way, which makes me want to bomb it, but it's also probably true. <laughs> That's just what life is, man. What can you do? Fucking life, dude. All right, I'm going to have Witch Seekers over here. Uh, I'm going to shove another squad of Gretchen over here. Gretchen or so, yeah, this, this is definitely very much a first draft of this list. I still haven't really figured out how I like, how I want to fill it out, but. Sure, sure, sure. Putting, putting more Gretchen and more Storm Boys in is never a bad idea, usually. I think I probably put my captain squad right here. Let me just see. I can just get some cheeky shooting turn one, right? Probably not. There's basically nothing I can see anyway, so there's no cheeky shooting there. Let's see if we bait you coming out to play with me. I don't know if... Yeah, let's see if we can do it. I really wish Prey was just any character you know. I think it's still pretty solid, but yeah, that would have made it um, probably a contender for one of the top detachments. Yeah, because I, yeah, I guess any character unit might be a little bit... Let's... Oh, hello. Oh my, you're just dropping it all over. He's dropping it like it's hot. Very much so. So Josh is I only dropped So let me tell you what Josh is doing here. He he's basically just saving his scout unit for last. Because he doesn't want me to counter it. That that's what that's why he hasn't dropped it yet. I, now at this point I've basically just dropped everything wherever it's gonna go. So he can pretty much put whatever he wants down because I only have one more drop. But that's why he said he didn't put that one down first, because I could I could counter it by like say having Maybe putting the the Valerian squad near him, and he's like, "Shoot, now I have to charge Valerian with my scout squad, right?" Instead, he's going to go with um, the uh, minus one to wound squad, which is probably a good call. Yeah, I, don't... I don't really want. I would kind of, if I knew I was going first, I would put the scout squad right here. But unfortunately, we don't live in that reality. We don't know yet. Yeah. Who needs to know what they're doing? You know what I mean? Uh, these two guys will be here. Oh, all the way back. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. Okay. And then... Let's see. Can I put this just right here? What can I do with the 10-inch move? If I go 10 inches... Does that give me a line of sight? I'll do... Yeah, that'll let me see you if I go first. And then I'm basically safe if I don't go first. So that's cool with me. And I'll put that nerd right there. 
Sure. I am going to just put the scout unit over where your warlord is. I over think. yonder. I think that's the reality. Mm, if they can fit, actually. I didn't really even. That is the one problem with this unit. It is fat. It is a fat unit. This is the truth. And if, yeah, <laughs> that is just the truth. I'm excited to run them, man. I know people hate running mounted and stuff. I think they're all lunatics. I don't think mounted is that hard to run at all, to be honest with you. It's infinitely easier this edition than it was last edition. Last edition, you couldn't move through your own models. This edition, you can. So it's like, I was running mounted last edition. Psh, absolutely. I'm fine running them this edition. There's very specific matchups that are probably hard where people have like, like Elder MSU, I wouldn't probably want to run the system to Elder MSU because that, that is just asking to be moved blocked for five turns. But By nine what? times out of like, ten, I mean... people will move block you with their move. People will move block you with your scout, their scouts, and then oh wait, do I really want to move block with an important unit after that? Yeah, I don't know. So uh, cool. I am down, man. I'm down. Are you ready to rock and roll? Do we do we roll these dice? Let's roll the dice. Oh my gosh, I rolled a five. Uh, much like pretty much any orc, I still want to go first. You rolled a five. Let's try that again. I rolled a five. All right, I'll take the first yeah, turn. Yeah. It should be noted that we're playing Hammer and Anvil and Sights of Power, just so everyone knows. <laughs> uh, so we do have scout moves that we need to uh, go ahead and mess around with. So let's just go ahead and set this up. And these girls will get to go their full six inches. They're basically just going to go, like, right here. And I know that's not legal. I'm going to fix that one girl who's not legal. Cute. I'll give you a little circle. Yeah, and then we'll just make mm -hmm. that girl go slightly back as well, then. Circle has been accomplished. And then this squad... They'll probably just move, like, right here or something. Okay. And I think that's all she wrote folks do you have you don't have any yo your scout you have a scout movement yeah yeah go into your scouts if you'd like to yeah and i'm gonna just scout nine uh do i care i'm just gonna check when i pick the prey whether it's command phase or battle rank. yeah it makes sense uh command phase so you won't be prey if you charge me time so let's not give you an easy charge time no. What's your, oh, your, I only moved move five, bro. I'm not, cool. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting to you. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll just move to 17 points. Yeah. I'll just hold it for you. Uh, I guess we probably just don't want to be seen by the Caladius. So we'll just be moved. We'll just move to pussy. I probably should have like, said that on YouTube. Never mind. <laughs> if that takes, if that makes it better. <laughs> uh, Mr. Beastly, uh, we are running Talons of the Emperor. So we have the reactive move. We've got. Uh, plus one to wound if you're under starting strength in the fight phase, which is just an, kind of a ridiculous strategy. Uh, and then we've got some uh, some other things. All right, so while he finishes that scout, I'm going to click Start Game, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my cards. Let's see them. I get Bring It Down, and I get Overwhelming Force. Okay, so Snickerot's going bye-bye. And yeah. um, I think that's basically just it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, bring it down. Can I get this truck? Let's just copy and paste this nerd. I'll put it out there. I hope not. Because <laughs> I did not pre-measure. <clears throat> nah, you're safe. Balls. Cool. All right. That's probably the first time on TTS where I've actually positioned a model where you can't get out of sight. I'm awful for <laughs> checking that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this Caladius is pretty simple. He's just going to move on up like this. And I'm mm -hmm. just going to draw a line of sight and blast the crap out of your whatever Your reactive is. move. Right? Yeah. Huh? What'd you say? Your reactive move, is that infantry only? Uh, I believe so. Can let me just take, a, let me take a quick, quick check. Uh, I have the Talon's Pincer. Nope. The two Adeptus Custodia units. Actually, that's a lot better than I was thinking. That's kind of sick. Cool. Good to know. That's super good to know, actually. That's that's pretty pretty damn cool. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and move these witch stickers to be uh, maybe over here or something. I should probably just like advance them. Or... Yeah, let's advance those witch stickers right there. Okay, so they'll go a mighty, mighty seven inches. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and take my wardens on up. Uh, nerds. And Valerian as well. You'll just come here. So that's going to give me a 5-incher. I'll take the 5-incher. Um, I will advance my Alaris Custodians. So they'll go 8. And I'm just not going to be standing where you can shoot me through the wall. Or hit, hit me through the wall. Because that would be what silly bears do. And Jonathan Arkin is no silly bear. Oh, one thing to note, for the WTC thing, it doesn't get around being mounted. Well, I'm sorry, say that. I've, the WTC charge thing, I have played against someone that thought it got around being mounted. Oh. But it does not. <laughs> it, it, you still have to be able to make the charge. Right, yeah. So it only applies to beasts and infantry. Uh, good call. I'm sure that confuses some people out there. Um, these prosecutors, we can... Advance them, I think. They're already within six of you, actually, so they're probably fine where they are. Yeah, they'll probably just hang out where they are. Um, This tank is not shooting anything. This is a beast snaga boss thing, so we'll just move you to be here, I suppose. So basically, nothing's going to be able to hit it from here anyway. Uh, I guess you could move him like this, and then like this, and then like get a six inch advance, and then go here. I'll just reactive move in front of you though, um, because reactive move is cool. So we'll put this nerd here. Active move is very powerful. Um, all right, cool. So I think that's going to oh, uh, Draxus' squad. Maybe we should advance them as well. All right, so they can go really far. Um, twelve inches. Do I want to do that? And do I have these guys? Oh, it's just her that's not measured. So I have 12 inches. Where do I move these nerds? So I like that Prey is at least in the command phase. Sure. Seems logical. So if you're, so if you're going second, you could, people don't know what your Prey is going to be until their turn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Which nice. Because it, say I play, say I have to pick it at the start of the turn, I pick a Caladius. You're like, well, this Caladius is... Going backwards. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I think we probably just let them hang out here. Oh, you know, she can help to... Let's see, is that thing even assault? I always forget if it is or not. No, it's not assault anyway, so I can't use it. Uh, They might just hang out maybe, like, here or something. Okay, yeah, they'll just hang out there. Um, And... Cool. So yeah, that's going to be all my movement for turn one. And let's go ahead and do some shooting. This Cladis is going to shoot your big blue squad. It's going to be all like pew 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 pew. That's going to be four shots. I'm going to hit you on twos. I'll hit. And I'm going to wound you on threes because you're T7. But I'm twin linked. Uh, so. It's the minus one. Oh my goodness. I believe I'm twin linked though. And I am twin linked. So let's just reroll those. All right, so that's going to be four at AP3. You are in cover. So five ups, I believe, or something like that. Uh, Six ups, I believe. Four saves. Oh, my. Four ups. Okay, cool. Then that's going to be three that I mean, go through. So I'll just do an ordered roll on these. So this is going to be three damage, four damage, and five damage. So the first one does two. Second one kills him. And then what's the last damage? Five. Two dead. Cool, and then I've got three shots from his other thingy, which basically doesn't matter. It hits twice, wounds on fives, one wound, AP one, you're in cover. It's just damage one. Uh, cool. Oh my. Oh, Try that again. That's the dice. Silly dice. Saved it. Cool. Ooh. And then we'll go ahead and send Valerian. He's got a five inch charge. Let's do it with the big fat three. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and re-roll it. Because I'm already going to get not... What was my two separate cards? Yeah, I'm not going to bring it down, so I'm discarding that regardless. Cool, so let's just go ahead and re-roll it for a six. That'll do. Okay. 
We'll do that. Then uh, we'll do that. And can I get within an inch of you there? We can do this. <laughs> That'll work. So I'll hit with probably three of them, I think. And then the layering will punch. Okay. And then we will charge nowhere else. So I'll just do a quick little pile-in. And if you guys need to learn more about pile-ins, I did an entire instructional video on pile-ins today. It was an amazing video. I'm actually really proud of it. You should go watch it. Uh, quick question about your double usage of stratagems. Do the sister's unit have to be close to the unit that's getting Within chosen six. to? Within six. Okay. Okay, cool. So I can put you here and then you <laughs> You. I'm just trying to do the mental gymnastics of how to play Rachel. Yeah, right. Reactive move. And then you'll do your three there. So then I'm going to have my four nerds punching you. Going to be a good 20 dice. I'm going to be hitting you on twos. Uh, Kataz, I'll just take sustained. Because oh, okay. we don't get minus one as a choice anymore. Of course, I wouldn't use it here anyway. But All right, so I get basically one bonus. I drop three, but four explosions. And then I'm strength seven, so I'm winning you on threes. All right. And Snickrot dies. Oh, he damn well tried, but he, he did. He was a Chad, but he went on his merry way. And then we will just kind of do like this. Uh, actually, I don't think anyone's going to move. They're just basically stuck there. That's cool. Um, so I'll get three on Overwhelming. One, two, and three. And then I'll discard. Bring it down for that sweet, sweet CP. And then while you do your movement phase and stuff... Let's draw your cards, and uh, you can choose your prey. So, I've got Area Denial and Assassination. Ooh, marvelous, marvelous. Area denial easy. is probably fine. I can get some Storm Boys into the middle, I imagine. Assassination slightly more difficult. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the colors is all the way back here. These characters are not easy to get to. No. Okay, so my prey is going to be this Calidus. Caladius, sorry. Uh, yes, this Caladius will be my prey. This is the prey. Uh, so where are the characters I can kill? Probably not Valerian. That would be difficult. I think he's the only one you could kill. I don't think you well, will kill him. Well, uh, the interesting thing is I have a free inch charge into these sisters, and because I've watched a Happy Crumping Wargaming video recently, All I right. can pile in to the Custodian Guard. Well, that's assuming I don't reactive move there and block you, right? Yeah, and then if you reactive move here, I'm going to just pound this Warden Squad with Mortals. Is my plan. I love it. So I'm going to just basically force you to lose one of your units. I love it. Feed me, baby. Is the plan. Because I think you have to reactive move this unit because you could potentially lose this whole Draxxus squad. Potentially. If you don't. So we're just going to move up 10. Because mm -hmm. we can't advance and charge because it's not the war. And you're not the prey unit. This might be a little bit risky, but we're going to see what happens. A little bit risky. So how does this work with the mortals now? Do I do my squid bombs go first or be reactive move first? Well, you're the active player, so you would determine the... Uh, well, because I'm not a nice guy, I will choose to go first. Seems reasonable. Uh, this guy will go here. So we're going to just put two bombs into Drax's unit. Cool. Let's see it. Roll two ones. Uh, I think just getting these bombs down early is... Oh, maybe I saved them for when the sisters are dead. But then the problem is potentially my squid cogs are dead. So let's just use the bombs. Right. It seems logical. Uh, two bombs into... Uh, who can we choose? We could choose the Alaris Terminators. They're probably harder to kill overall. So... But we could kill two guys here. You could. We could. Yeah. something. But then it will make it harder to pile into you. So we are just going to put them into the Terminator unit. Terminator unit. Let's do it. Both hit. Three mortals. Only three. Five of Fiona Pains. One guy takes three. B 
boom, boom, and boom. So, would you like to react to the movement? I have a five inch charge into them. You have five inch charge into them with a little rotation. Could be a six, but it's probably still a five. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, it's still going to be a five because you'll just. Yeah, it'll still be yep. a five. So. And essentially, uh, the risk Johnny has is I won't have to base basically any of my models. Which means he'll get to pile in and he'll get to ha fight with probably yeah. half of his squad. Mm. And they can do they can't do the same kind of damage they would have done in uh they yeah with exploding sixes, but I can also give them exploding sixes. So. I think I probably will go ahead and reactive move for free. Um and that basically lets you get my Cladius here, I think. That's okay with me. So we'll go ahead and reactive move for free. Let's be right outside of an inch of you here. And then I'll go ahead and react and move my Terminators as well. You can react and move for free? Ah, oh, because it's the battle it's tactic. It's a battle tactic, sir. So what would have been nice for Johnny is if he could have got to this objective. Yeah, it would have been super sick. Okay, so you can still react and move again? No, 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 no. Had you gone here, okay. I would have sent a CP for it, and then yep. I would have done it for free I over here. I was really hoping you would have done this one first, <laughs> but you didn't because you're a smart boy. All right. Uh, I'm just going to roll for my CP, if you don't mind. Yep. I'll look the grots. No CP nope. for you. Always, That's what you get. Always do, it when you, always do it when you're meant to do it, or it will fail yeah, every right. single time. So we're just going to come up 10. Yep, yep, yep. So now we need to decide, do I care about killing the Caladius more? I can just use one CP to advance and charge into the Caladius, or do I just want to pound this with the mortals? Pound, 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 pound. And I think pound this with the mortals sounds good to me. Hey, Brandon, Martin, yeah, I saw, just saw your chat. I am running towns, bud. Oh, yeah, Eddie, by the way, this beer rocked. I'm a big, big fan of it. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce it. I think it says Brudeclus, but... Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty sick. I'm gonna have a second one. If my if my if my loving wife decides to get up and bring me a beer while I'm streaming, no. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> cool. so, that's that. uh, so I'd really like to kill these sisters. Seems reasonable with my storm borders. But I think they are going to have to be area denying because I don't think this Stormboy squad can get over to the. Uh, let's have a quick look. Area denial, where is it? There. Uh, no, I can already tell without even measuring. Okay, so we'll roll an advance on these Stormboys. If yeah. they hit a five, they can get me area denial. Yeah, I can do this for this one back. He would go. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Nope. <laughs> They're not getting one. They're gonna one. You don't want to CP reel that? I do not. No. Nerd. Nerd. They're just going to go here because the one thing Johnny does have is not a huge amount of units. So I don't mind putting these guys here. It's not a bad place for him to be. You see, he could indirect them with Draxus, but then Draxus isn't shooting something else, which is fine by me. That's how oh, it works. I didn't do my squig. So these guys are going to yeah. squig bomb the wardens. On twos. Um, Both hit. Four, four. Four? Five up field pains. You killed a Walden. Yep. So I'll take that. Any Warden dead is a good Warden. It's a great my book. Dead. Uh, This Snaggerboss truck's just going to advance and do just land in that little corner there. Yep, yep. Let's go. They're going four. Uh, let's actually see if they can get there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I'll see why not, right? Yeah. So we'll just. Go like that. Makes sense, makes like sense. Exactly like that. Uh, and if Johnny wants to come and charge it with the custod with the terminators, I'm okay with that. <laughs> He's okay. Uh, these squid hog boys are just gonna come to here in position to advance and charge whatever goes into the middle. <laughs> yeah, when I said you weren't bringing me a beer, someone commented reason not to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's pretty good funny. <laughs> nice. Sorry, Josh. I apologize for interrupting you. That was just really funny. That's <laughs> right. 
Uh, this chord's actually gonna... Uh, I wonder, can we just pound this Terminator squad with another bunch of mortals? No, probably not, not six inches away. They're gonna advance, because they're just gonna be slightly further than they needed to. Yep, yep. So they are, they are actually just gonna come yeah. up. They are chargeable by the Terminators, but I don't really care. Because it puts the Terminators where I want them. And, uh, this snagger truck. Oh! Huh? So the snagger truck at the back will advance. Go with an extra one. It's literally just going to land. Just here. I am, of course, drinking out of my third place Gothcon cup because uh, why wouldn't you? All right. Uh, then these storm boys, let's figure out what they need in, in an advance. The for stormiest Area boys. Denial. Oh, much easier. Um, they don't... Where's the that guy? That guy's big. They need a one. Uh, don't you'll, need, you'll need a two. Because cool. 13.7. This one I'll be more likely to reroll. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Yeah, that'll do. But we don't need to do it. Now, the interesting thing is, I wonder if I advance and charge and kill those sisters, could I just consolidate back onto the objective and get myself area denial? Could be spicy. And those sisters. So that's 15 inches of move. So the issue, we'd have to get like a really specific charge. Yeah, you definitely don't want to roll high on it. Because if you're all high no, on, you get So screwed. I think it is just not worth the risk. So we'll just move an extra two inches. Seems reasonable. Oh my god, everyone's going everywhere. <laughs> I'm not even lagging. I don't know what's going on. What, what but is that's this fine. Just going... What is this madness? So if this was ninth edition, I'd make this charge every time. Because yeah, you totally. could control where you're moving. <laughs> but we are not playing. Actually. Right, cool. So we are going to go into the shooting phase. Have a very minimal shooting phase. Uh, we will just shoot whatever the hell these guys are equipped with at these guys. But first, we will grenades. He's gonna throw grenades. So down to two CP. Yeah, uh, I should have one CP. I don't yeah, know yeah. why it said three. Cool, cool. That'll be purpley. Uh, give me another three point of Take two. Two. And then I think I still charge and just do the mortals on the charge. Yeah, seems reasonable. You're not the prey unit, but it's still seven dice. And then still just getting through a few more warden, maybe another warden. Um, cool. So we'll shoot anyway, see if we get lucky and kill a dude or two. Yep, yep. Uh, so everyone's going to throw their stickers. So that stickers. is one, two, three, four, five stickers. Uh, not this guy, actually, because he can't see you, technically. Oh, no, he can see you. He can see you this direction. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, can he? Uh, from right here? Oh, yeah, totally here. Of course he can. Yeah, yeah. Clearly cool. he can. I'm so, just being a, a five, noxious bitch. Five stickers, one here. That's a wound. Uh, one wound. Saved. Cool. Uh, we have saddle get weapons. I just want to kill this guy in one wound before I charge. Makes if I get lucky. Uh, maybe saddle gets hit on fours. Yeah, yeah, right. Cool. Uh, no wounds. Uh, what the hell does this guy have? Uh, let's just assume he has a slugger. Three sluggers. Nice. Nothing. Cool. We just and then um, we will go over here. Let's we'll do it. all that shooting again over here. Yep, yep. Uh, this time it will be six stickers, though. Oh, my. Let's get it. That's a wound. Uh, one wound. AP one. Saved. My sisters well, care not for your sticker stick. That is just rude. Frankly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my word. Hello. That'll get weapon popping off. Uh, they are only shrimp free, though, I believe. Yeah, so I think that's three wounds. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Ooh, you killed two. We'll take it. Poof. And a poof. Okay, so then we will shoot the free sluggers as well. Absolutely. Or shooting, baby, you hit. And a three. And a three up for me. Another one. Oh, you killed another one. That cool. is annoying. So now I have actually, to think about that more. That's actually Ouch. a very annoying thing. I think I have to CP reroll that. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. All right, well, has to be that one, I think. 
So I think we'll just announce both of these units as the target for the charge. Yep, yep. Uh, and then we just we just won't have any CP to enhance ourselves over here because our grots failed us. Uh, I did admit that we get to move my grots, but that's is what it is. Move your grots, I don't care. Go ahead. Um, move your grots. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. They're only going to advance up. I'll do it after the rest right, of the turn. Right, cool. It's not going to. They're going to advance to here. You're, and... you're probably going to need a seven to make this, just because you have to go around and rotate. But yeah, that's fair. So the other option is just to mortal charge this guy and then pile into you. That would work probably a lot better. Uh, and then just what do we do down here? We just don't charge. Or we just try for the... Why am I in centimeters? So it's a eight inch and for you to get around me, it's probably it's probably still an eight inch, I'd actually, I would assume. Yeah, so we might just, we might just do that actually instead. Okay. You do. Cool. Uh, any other shooting? Before we move on, these guys advanced. No, nope, no other shooting. So let's figure out what we do actually want to do with this charge phase. We've already got area denial. I'd love to get assassinate. So the dream would just to be hit, just hit this charge, get this guy somewhere where he could precision Draxus. That would be nice. I would have to be in engaging range with this unit, right, to be able to precision Draxus with the beast boss. Yeah. I assume you it's have to not be just combat. We can just yeah. read it on screen right now for those who are confused. Oh no! Uh, so we are looking at uh, epic challenge fight phase when a character unit from your army that is within engagement range of one or more attached units is selected to fight. Yes, yeah, so you have to be in engagement of the attached unit, so that won't work because there's yeah. no way he's getting over there. I assumed that would be the case. Yeah. The only way he could get there is potentially if we did the mortals charge thing. If we got him to like here, and then a squig hog piles in, and then he bases off of a squig hog into here. Look at Josh concentrating, trying to play. <laughs> Hilarious. I really wanted to do the mortals here. That's the really sad thing. Why do I have too many good options? No, oh, it's awful, right? right? <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and concentrate for a second. All right, all right. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna uh, check out what you do that. Interesting. So yeah, randomize. Yeah, man, this is our uh no Josh. I think Josh has played he's you've played Green Tide and Bully Boys now. Um and I think you uh, played I've, I've, played, I've played about seven games of Bully Boys now. You played so oh my god. Um, right, so Josh has been going hard. Uh, <laughs> this is my first game with the new rules. Single, a single game of Green Tide, and Green Tide is definitely not in my wheelhouse just yet. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I think Green Tide's really good, <laughs> but they're uh they're they're a little spicy. Let's just see. Right. Uh, we have decided. I want to decimate this unit. You can go with the mortals. To here, and then you can go. So 3.7 plus 3.7. So that's so it's a seven inch to get into both, basically. I'm, I'm probably just going to announce the charge on here, yeah, see yeah. what happens, and then tag you. And if you fall back, I'm just going to use my one CP stratagem to move six inches anyway. Dope. When you do that. And I'm just going to do the mortals to the wardens, do the damage to the wardens when I can. I love it. Because out of phase mortals and the wardens, it's just where it's at. 100%. Uh, charging the wardens. Six. Oh, so you're not going to do the mortal down here on the witch seeker? Uh, no, so on the witch seeker, I'm just going to charge. If I get lucky, I'll base a few with some of the guys at the back and then oh, tag okay. these Presidium Guard. Cool. And then you'll do some damage to me, but not too much. And then. <laughs> That's the hope anyway. <laughs> Obviously, nice. maybe you'll just kill me, but I don't know. we'll see. We'll worry about that when we worry about it. I just want to decimate the Wardens unit when I can. Everybody wardens loves killing still, Wardens. I completely understand. Wardens with Valerian specifically are still a pain in the absolute butt for this army to deal with. Because uh, we are an so, AP1 so army. Just be careful how you're moving right now, because you only rolled a 6. Cool. Yeah, good shout, good shout, good shout. You're uh, still going to fight with everyone, because you're still going to get base-to-base -base everywhere, but... Yeah. Just because people cool. are watching, luckily, we don't want them to pick up bad habits. Yeah. Cooper would luckily kill for me. me, my mortal stratagem... I'm just going to check my mortal stratagem doesn't require engagement range. Yeah, I think it's the whole unit. Do, 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 do. Drag it down. No, not you. Unstoppable momentum. So, I get a dice. Dude. The enemy unit is probably roll for <laughs> Losing the four up against oh. mortals is so brutal. <laughs> 
<laughs> so seven dice. Yep. Yeah, because I wouldn't have used any of these things against you. No, of course not. <laughs> Even though I still have a five up uh, right now, it's, it's just still a world of difference. Let's get lucky. Yeah. Uh, I'll good. take that. Four. And then fives. Oh, my. You do, you do kill the guy in one wound, though, to be fair. We killed the guy in one wound. We'll take it. Yeah. That was actually a uh, lot better than I here, expected. <laughs> over here, we're just going to charge the Witch Seeker. Nerd. And see what happens. And see. We want a long charge. Big, one, big charge, no whammies. Ooh, big. Ooh, eight. That's pretty solid. That should be solid. Can that guy base? No. So we have to base with guys that can base. Mm hmm. And then we'll just see what happens with Pylon. I don't think we're actually going to get many in, so I'm probably just not going to get in range of you and just consolidate onto objective. Yeah, it's probably better not to give me free strikes because you might only get to hit with like one, and that's not worth it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this and then just stay on the objective. Yeah, and then these four guys can just kill these sister squad, and that's one less sister squad that's giving him his army rule. I think that's a lot smarter. If I'd hit like a 12 or something. It's different, yeah. But you got to play with the cards that and we're then dealt. And this objective is still a bit of a pain for you to take back. I'm threatening it with the beast boss with damage free. Oh, yeah. That's a super frustrating <laughs> thing for me to have to deal with. Uh, cool. So we will obviously fight down here first. Yeah, would you I, like to pop your four up? I would pain? love to pop my four up feeling a pain. Thank you for asking. Cool. So there is a world where Johnny might gamble on his two up save. But he's not. No, I can't resurrect custodians anymore. <laughs> If I could resurrect oh, yeah, one, really... <laughs> but they're so much worse. Yeah. Like it's just, they're just so much worse. It's... This guy's just gonna come in like <laughs> sure. And this the one good thing about squid hogs in melee combat is it's not too hard to get them all in because yeah. there's fat ass bases. Yeah, Especially right. with this guy's base, right? like you can. There's gonna be some funny Christmas tree in here. Like you, you, you should be able to yeah, because this guy is, this guy is based here. Oh, so, so you might yeah, you're gonna have to drop one I think if he's based. Uh, why is that? Because this guy's basing this guy. Oh, oh yeah, so yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm full of nonsense. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm just being a dick. Cool. Uh, we will go with the stickers first. Stickers. There's so no hard stickers R in that. Are, still, are still the same. I'm just going to check they're still the same. I'm just going to give my dudes lethal hits on you. Makes sense. Uh, you know what? Screw it. So, I'm going to go with sustained. I like sustained. Yeah. Cool. Big hog boys, yeah, they're still the same. Cool. So we're going one, three, four, uh, four guys with stickers. Uh, the guys with lance will be Everyone wounding on fours, and the characters will be wounding on fours as well. So we're just going to do them all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, because it's all the same, right? Because the big chopper yeah, is four the big attacks. Chopper yeah, yeah. And then so the normal dudes are three attacks. attacks. So eight for the guys. Yeah, 8 plus 20 12 attacks 20. in total. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And then obviously the character will come last. Just lagging a little bit. Give me a second. Why would you lag? Don't don't be that guy. And then British is in the blame. Uh, let's not even get started on that. <laughs> <laughs> think, uh, in my head, I had this South Park song for Blame Canada start going there. So we're hitting on freeze. All right, not bad, not bad. We're winning on fours. We're hoping to kill maybe one warden if we're lucky here. Pretty solid. Well, not that, not with that roll. <laughs> I save on twos. I save them all. Cool. Uh, then everybody's jewels. We'll go now. Uh, did they give the jewels plus one to hit? No, they didn't. Well, that's not very nice, is it? No, it's not nice. No, that was one give one unit plus one to hit. These. So everyone's jewels are the same now. Yeah, well, that's actually nice, because so now the knobs is... have the same, at least as good at hunting yeah. as those do. So. The 18 attacks. Mm -hmm. Hit on freeze. Yep, yep. Fours, sorry. I literally just said that. <laughs> How dare you? Then, uh, then fours to wound. Uh, ah, one, come on. Twos. This one. one. Like <laughs> Four wound. pains. Guy takes a wound. Put it on we did this a wound. Nerd. wound. It's happening. We might kill a warden, boys. Uh, then the boss, I have got him to go. Five he tax, has got six attacks. Six, six attacks. Six, six, six. But hit on twos. Slap, slap, slap. Ooh, that's a nice one. Wounds on. Uh, winning fours. Oh, he did Ooh, it. Nice. Five two ups. All right. 
support Fiona Pains. Takes no damage. No. And then the big hog. Uh, free attacks from the big hog. Yeah, so guys, if you're watching this, I really think that uh, we're at a position right now where if you are going to try to make the custodians work, Valerian is a must-take. So two free ups. These are damage. Free. Two. These are three ups. Ugh, oh, disgusting. First guy, four ups. Kills him. And then the next guy takes nothing. Oh, cool. It was reality. We came in expecting to kill one warden. We hoped the mortals would do a bit more damage, but that works though. That pretty much went pretty much went as expected. Okay. Um well uh, in that case, uh I think I'll just pick my witch seeker up, unless you want to consolidate cool. pile in. Uh, no, we'll just stay on the objective. Cool. I'll just pick her up then. You don't need to do that. I could go here, but I'm not tagging you here. Yeah, nah, it seems like a terrible decision. I fall back and shoot and charge, so I wouldn't do that. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope to kill one more guy here, but... I'll just do this, and then Nerd will just be here, and then I will um, do a bunch of punching, I suppose. So I've got two Wardens. That's going to be ten attacks. Hitting you on twos, exploding on sixes. Ooh, big extra three. And then I'm going to wound you on fours, because you're T7. That's gonna okay, be apparently six. Johnny can roll very similarly to me. Hey, six AP2, so six ups. Uh, we'll take six ups. We and take two one. Um, so we are going to, because they're four wounds each now, instead of five, we're just going to start on the knobs and smash because oh, they oh, oh, really make knobs are four wounds each. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, did Hobbs get to four <laughs> wounds? What? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'd love that. Yes. So we're hitting on the sergeants. So that is one sergeant dead. And then one sergeant takes two. And one sergeant takes two. Pretty solid. And then I'll have so Mr. Valerian dead. punch you. Valerian is going to have seven attacks with Gnosis. Hits uh, on twos. And that essentially was just, just to make Johnny's damage thing a little bit more awkward, hopefully, with four wounds. Yeah, I think that was a, the correct decision. So Gnosis, I got uh, one miss, but I had um, one ex I had two misses, but I had one explosion, yep. so I'll just leave that one in. And then I will wound you on uh, fours, because you're minus one to be wounded if my strength is higher. Yep. So that's going to be just two. Uh, AP three, so you don't get saves on those, but they are still two damage. Uh, cool. So obviously starting again on the sergeant that is wounded. He's on two wounds, so we're praying for a five in the first one. And Ooh, he takes one wound. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> All right. And this is why I just love hogs. I love high rolling. Gotta love lie. hogs. Um, I'm getting rid of assassination. Yeah. It's probably doable next turn, but it's just not worth keeping it. Totally. I'll take a CP quite happily. Makes sense. I've got a reactive move stratagem as well. I want to be using my CP. And I'll pass the turn to you. All right. Uh, so did you... Oh, we double clicked. I see how it is. I, I see what happened. Okay. Um... So then you should go to one CP and I should go. Okay, I should be at two now. Okay. All right. Um, yep. I see what happened. All right. So then I'm going to go and draw my cards. We have three now, right? Because you didn't use a CP that turn. Oh, I did. I did a reactive movement. but. Yeah, but you did it for free. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I see what happened. All right. Cool. So you should be on three. So I draw assassinate and no prisoners. That's a pretty solid uh, draw for this turn. Um, yeah. So essentially, I gotta kill this oh, squad. I am calling the wild battle round. <gasps> no, I'm up in your face. I'm on objectives. I want to <laughs> make these guys slightly awkward to kill. They're not going to be hard to kill because the terminators shoot really well. But yeah, just Johnny's already in my face, so he's not gonna back up. Yeah, right. So that, that makes sense. Um, okay, cool. So then I will get three for holding my home field, and I'll get three for having this objective empowered with uh, Valerian. Uh, do you have this? You've got nine. I've got thirteen. Valerian had already had him? it. Had already had it uh, under his control when I killed Snickrot. So yeah. So it's still empowered, even okay, though so I, I even though it, I don't. I hold it. Yeah. No, no, I don't hold the objective. It's empowered. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hold it. You, but you've got it empowered. Exactly. So all right. So this is actually good. So since we're here and people are watching, let me explain this for you guys. Here, let me just go ahead and pull the card up so we can all read it because this does confuse a lot of people. Um, so sites of power. If you read it. The objective marker in No Man's Lands are sites of power. At the end of each command phase, the player whose turn it is empowers all... So oh, I was command phase. So actually, no, I did not empower it in my turn because it's like it empowers at the end of the command phase. So never mind. I will only score three. So neither of us have anything empowered in the middle currently. No. All right. So I will only score three for primary then. That is disappointing. 
Um, so yes, it is confusing, and I had it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Even great WTC players like Johnny. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing some rolling stuff. Um, so this is also just a big. This is just a big difference on custodes now. I'm happy to chip this warden unit because it's not coming back. Exactly. Like if I, I if I could be resurrecting models, it'd be, it's a completely different game. But I can't. So just get wrecked, nerd. And he can and he couldn't be minus one to hit. All of these things just chip, these are just the contributing factors to what's happened to custodes. You can chip them down and you can go into combats. When you're hitting on fours, before you'd be like, I really don't want to touch any custode unit ever. Ugh, it's so brutal. Ugh. This is obviously coming from the position of privilege because I'm playing a codex that's become one of the best in the game. So, <laughs> so I have assassinate and I get no prisoners. So no prisoners is easy. I'll shoot these nerds to death. You know what? What Track I should system. do is I'm going to move these guys this way. I'm just going to shift this whole squad this way, actually. Makes sense. So you can just double team this squad. Yeah, and homeboy will just stand here in case he doesn't have to. That's how we'll do this. And then... If your shooting puts me to a point where you don't need to charge it with two squads, I'll be fair. <laughs> um, then we'll go here. I can't take this from you for sh in shooting, but I can at least, you know... So actually, I just can't take it from you in shooting in general at all, so let's... doesn't really matter. We'll just move these nerds like this. So the good thing for me in this situation is Johnny doesn't hold an objective with the Guardians, so if they double shoot, they will not be re-rolling to wound. Well, we roll once to wound, thank you very much. Okay, that's fair. Not full rerolls. Yes. Which is very nice when it's Draxa shooting you because she doesn't get full rerolls on her dev wound weapon. Ah, this is this is accurate. Okay, um then I have this Caladius Gravity Tank, and he is gonna move ten inches up like this. Because he's quite high OC, I imagine. Yeah, he's OC4, I think. And okay. then this Caladius Gravity Tank will do this. Okay. And then... You don't have anything in Deep Strike, right? No, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. And then this nerd will fall back here. I'm going to spend a CP to do it. So... Okay, so now I now what I can do is I can move six inches. With Absolutely. Um, I will consider it. Moving off objective doesn't feel like a good idea. That seems like a poor so, idea, I think. Even though think Johnny can fall back this. and charge me. Johnny can fall back and charge me. I think I just stay on the objective and say, come at me, bro. That makes sense. That sounds correct to me. Okay. Um, so it's, it gives me an interrupt target because I have both. If you're charging both units, I'll hopefully have an interrupt target. I think that's correct, right? All right, so then we'll go on into the Schusting Phase. Um, oh, you know what? I'm also going to do a rapid ingress, I think. Do I, or not? Do I do a teleport to my dudes down here and just blast your grots to death? I don't think you need them. No. I think I save them. I think I'll save them. I don't need them out yet. Okay, so let's I'd go ahead agree. and do some shoostings. I'm going to go ahead and blast my Caladius at these squig hogs, I believe, is the correct decision. And we'll shoot the cool. crappy shots into the storm boys. Cool. Uh, all right, you know what? It's probably better for me to put him into this. Let's All right, let's do the things that I need to do. Draxus is shooting your storm boys, and the guard are all shooting the squig hogs. Uh, cool. Her indirect is obviously going to the storm boys. Her normal gun is going into the uh, hogs. So... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to be better at speaking words. All right, guard first into the hogs, hitting on twos, winning on fives, rerolling ones. All right, that's going to be two saves at AP1. That's four damage. One guy takes one damage. Uh, Draxus is indirect into the... Into the uh, punks. Now, since you're Xenos, I'm plus one to hit. And since I'm indirect, I'm minus one to hit. So I'm still hitting on threes here instead of um, fours. All right. These will wound you on threes at strength six. That's going to be three saves, AP zero, damage two. You're in cover, obviously. That will take four up. Looks like. Oh, he loved it. And then Dirge Singer will shoot into the hogs, hitting you on twos because I'm plus one to hit since you're um, whatever. 
Now I'm wounding you on fives, and these are dev wounds. Ooh, spicy. Ooh. So that's four dev wounds. Let's see if we can just do what we just did. Kills uh, not one hog so far. I mean, only one. Only one. That was not a bad round. Um, okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing, only this time I'm not shooting the indirect at those storm boys. Though I'm tempted to do so, actually. Um, balls. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll shoot the, I'm, I'm going to shoot the storm boys again. Uh, mm -hmm. It's this squad of storm boys, by the way. All right, so they're, they're yeah. going to activate their once per game ability to shoot twice, and they're going to go ahead and do that. So 10 guard first, hits on twos. Ugh. And then wounds on fives, rerolls the ones. That's going to be three saves, AP one. All right, that's two damage. Take one wound. One. Then Draxus has her Dirge Singer, which hits on twos. And then a wound on fives. That's going to be one wound. Is this into the hog? Or the this, is into the, this is this the one into the hogs. And Dirge Singer is going to be AP zero, but damage two. I passed this. Yeah. Cool. And then the indirect into the boys. Uh, I don't know why I just rolled one die. I have six dice to roll. All right. And that is going to be sustained hits two. And then I'm going to wound you on threes with the strength of six. That's going to be three more saves. Exactly the same as last time. You have four ups. Kills one. Damage one? Yep. Damage two. Okay. Well, we're not taking that on the knock gun. Yeah. Uh, not that we could anyway. That, right? So I killed one hog over here, eh? Not what I wanted to see. So let's go ahead and shoot all of my Terminator's damage two shots into the hogs and their damage one shots into the... You know what? Let's shoot the Calid the Caladius now. We'll shoot the, his big shots into the hogs. Mm -hmm. And then we'll shoot his uh, little shots in... Damn it. What is the correct order here? I'm confused and upset. Um... No, actually, real quick. Would you mind if I just move my, my Witch Seekers? I forgot to move them. Is that cool? Good man. Cheers. They're just gonna do that. They're gonna they're gonna you, blame your hogs. You said I could move my Gretchen, and then I subsequently again forgot to move them. So you are allowed <laughs> to move them. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Um. Yeah. So let's just start with the with the custodians. Actually, we'll shoot all of the damage two into the hogs, and um, we'll shoot everything into the hogs. Actually, I'm we'll, I'm gonna shoot one grenade launcher at the storm boys. Everything else is going to the hogs. Okay, so hogs, we're going to start with six guys. That's going to be 12 shots. We're going to hit you on twos. And then we're going to wound you on fives. I'm going to re-roll these. All right, because you got a character in there. That's going to be uh, five saves, AP1. So I'm pretty sure... You do have one guy in cover. Only one, I would believe, right? Yeah, but you've already got one guy wounded, so you... Who, oh, look at that. Guy... Oh, no, you get to draw from this distance, from this angle, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he can draw like this, right? And that is five saves? Yep, five saves. First guy, no cover, then you can switch. That's it, I'm just going to roll up. All right. And twos. Was it two damage? Yep, kills two of them so far. Cool. Two dead. And then we've got all of... We've got five of the... Uh, grenade launchers and one grenade launcher into storm boys. So that is 20 shots. Hits on twos. Wounds on fives. Reroll those. That's going to be seven saves, AP1. Damage one on these. Two damage. All right. So he won't be done. Two. Yep. It's two. And then I've got the one grenade launcher into the storm boys. Four. Four shots, hits on twos, wounds on fives, no rerolls, no wounds there. Okay. Um, now, this Caladius will shoot his big guns at the Red Squad. Mm -hmm. Do I really need that? Yeah, I'm going to shoot his big guns at the Red Squad, and then I'm going to shoot his little guns at the Storm Boys. So, big guns, hits on twos, and then I'm going to wound you on um, two twos. Yeah, so that's going to be three of them uh, in ones. All right, I'll put those in order. These are D6 plus two each. Okay, so eight damage each. Kills a guy. Oh, wow. And kills a guy. Because I would have started taking them on. 
And then the little shots into the Storm Boys hits on twos and wounds on threes. One wound, AP one, on the Storm Boys. Safe. Uh, okay, then we'll move on over here. I'm going to shoot my Witch Seekers at your uh, Snagas, at the Hogs. That's going to be four Flamers. Mm -hmm. Four, 15 shots. These are going to wound you on fives. Strength four, so that's going to be five saves and no AP. Uh, ignoring cover? Uh, yeah, they're ignoring cover, so four ups, I believe. Let me just make sure I'm not lying to you. Ignores cover, yeah. One guy takes two damage. Which would be this guy. And one guy will take one. Cool. Go ahead and take a battle shock test, please. Oh, is that a rule? Is it? That's their rule. <laughs> Ah, you're good. All right, cool. Uh, all right, now this... So one guy has taken one wound. So we'll go ahead and shoot with my um, nerds here. So I've got uh, three spears. Valerian just has one extra shot, so he shoots uh, three shots. So these will hit you on twos. And then these will wound you on fives. Three saves. You're in cover on all of those, I assume. Uh, so what's the save with cover? So uh, if you won, so you're in cover, so fours. Cool. Two damage? Yes, sir. So, um, Ranta Me says, what makes Valerian auto-include? Well, bud, I think the reason why Valerian's auto Well, all right, auto-include is such a terrible term I kind of hate, but I, I find him necessary now because we've lost so much durability. We need a unit that has some durability still. That, that's why I like uh, a Valerian. Um, okay, uh, any other... Sh what's my next last shooting? This is shot, this is shot, that shot... They've shot, they've shot. Let's shoot the tank. This Cladius up top. He'll shoot into the blue boys. And mm -hmm. I don't think he can see anything else. So, yeah, he'll just put everything into the blue boys. No one's injured there. So, four big shots. Hits you on twos. Then these are going to wound you on threes because you're minus one to wound and on twin linked. So, that's going to be three saves on your involves. Saved one of them and then an ordered roll. That's going to be four damage and then five damage. Kills one, and then five. Ooh, one takes two. And then lastly, I've got his tiny guns. This was a much more successful shooting phase than I was kind of thinking I'd have here. Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty rough one for me. All right, so I failed with his small guns. All right, that actually makes me really dang happy there. Um, okay, so you have eight OC on here. The Beast Boss has three OC, so you have nine OC on here right now. Mm -hmm. So I need to get more than nine, which I can pretty easily do with my um, guard. So that's all my shooting. Let's go into the charge phase now. I will charge my wardens back into the fray. With a 10. So in retrospect, maybe I should have just... Move these blue ones. May I, may I think that probably would have been the correct decision, actually. Uh, then I'm going to charge my guard into the red squad. With a six. So how do I do this? So that one in itself shows how hard it can be to make a decision in the moment. Because both me and Johnny thought saving the CP for an interrupt was a good idea. I did. I really and did. Think, <laughs> and we both think now it wasn't a good idea. So if you make a mistake in Warhammer, it's so easy to do in the moment. Oh, like, not even a mistake. You can't always be results oriented as well. Exactly, right. And so You the... can make the right decision, <laughs> or you can make the decision that both of you think is right and it not go right. And so the reason why I position these guys in such a manner is now I have full rerolls to wound here, because, like, it looks like I strung them out in a weird way, but I did them this way so I can get the full, my full 11 OC on the squad, on this uh, objective to take it so that I can get full rerolls to wound. Um, that means I can probably throw my shield captain's unit into these storm boys. I think that's the correct decision now. Yes. So they'll go six. So now my thinking is, do I just save all my CP to punch back as hard as I can next turn, or do I still enter? Because I do have a lot of offensive stratagems. Uh, 
trying to think I want to do this, if not mistaken. It's my damage one nerd. Only one would get the punch. It's unlikely he kills the squad, but he does enough where he can't do an action or anything. I think I'm going to do that, actually. So I'm going to move him his six here. Just Is that outside of one? Yeah, it is. Basically. Cool. Yeah. These buildings always get move, a little I, bit I can move him a little problem. further back just to make it. Yeah. And then we this know guy you can fit. will come here. Yeah, I think that's the correct decision. We'll put you here just so he won't be out of base, but he'll still get an engagement range. Um, so the, yeah. And yeah, so then I'll die to coherency, like if, if you if you take a wound, but I think I'm willing to risk that right now. Um, okay. I could be stupid for doing that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, cool. So that's if a good I have a Yeah, go ahead. If I had a fight on death stratagem or something, it would be riskier, right? Because I could just kill this one guy. Yeah, but no, then but you'd then have you to waste your anything. interrupt on this, and it's like, uh, if you want to waste your interrupt on that, I think I'm more, I'm willing to I roll think dice. I'm, I think I'm pretty much just going to go with the plan of save all my CP for my punch back rather than interrupting. Mm -hmm. yeah. That seems reasonable. But I will start on the red squad, so I'm going to punch you with 25 attacks. I'm going to go with sustained this, uh, on this squad. Hit you on twos. So I basically effectively just drop one because I got the others as explosions. And then I'm going to wound you on fours. And I'm going to reroll those. Thank goodness. All right. You got 16 AP on your bones. Oh, a Herculean effort. Well, uh, did it matter? No, because the boss is not a four up or anything. So uh, He's a five up as well, yeah. And he's a five up for no pain as well. So we can just do this all at the same time. Uh, uh, in twos, yeah. Twos, yeah, cause, yeah, he's a five up for no pain now. Yeah. So, so this is one dead. Oh, this is two dead, and one guy's on one wound for Tractus to kill. All right, that was pretty solid. It's not as much as I expected. All right, cool. So now Draxus will punch. She does hit on twos now because she's punching Xenos. Then she's going to wound you on fives with the strength of six, uh, rerolling because I control the objective. That's going to be two more AP two damage twos. So this guy should be one wound. Yep. Uh, I will slow roll these. Just on the off chance I roll. If I pass the first one, I might reroll the second one. That seems reasonable. All right. Uh, he, she's AP what? AP two damage two. Cool. Let's find out if he survives with the feel no pains. I'm not rerolling the first one. Oh, oh no! And the second save. All right, another two. Now I have to just think for a second. I don't think it's worth it. I'm in, still in combat with you with the beast boss. If you don't, yeah, I'm still in combat, so I'll still get to swing with the beast boss. Yeah. So we're just gonna roll this. All right, cool. Then I will just go ahead and do this, and do this, and I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll do that. And the reason, I don't know if this is the reason, but essentially the reason Johnny started over here is because I would be interrupting into Valerian's unit, which is a no thank yeah. you for me. <laughs> exactly, it's like, it's just probably just not the correct option. So now I'll punch with my Wardens over here into the blue squad. Um, I've got two Wardens. They'll hit you on twos, exploding sixes, and then I will uh, be winning you on fours. All right, AP two. So on your invulns. Uh, not quite as good. That's good this time, but we can't high roll every time. Oh, well, that went quite well. Yeah, solid. So that's one dead. That's the second one dead, and the boss takes two. Nice. And then I've got uh, Valerian. Eight wounds now, I think. Actually, let me just check while you roll Valerian. Yeah, I have no idea how many wounds he has now. Uh, I believe he did seven, I think. Let me see. Uh, he seven. has eight wounds, and he's T8, right? Uh, he is T8, but uh, so oh. it's fours regardless. Yeah, because you're minus one, and so it doesn't matter that I'm still attacking the unit here. Yeah, all right. So that's going to yeah. be uh, four of them, AP three on this, but it's still involved, so two damage. And he's taking two. He's yeah. taking two. Cool. All right, so uh, four more so damage. Roll this again. Takes two more. So he's taking three. Right. So the good thing for me now in Johnny's turn, slightly, in my turn slightly, is everybody is tied, so it's going to be hard for him to react to. Yeah, um, I think that's very true. So then I can do like this, and then this you dude do. just comes here. I don't think he can base you because I still got to say coherency. So I've got one guy who yep. hit this squad, and then I've got three, and the captain who hits this squad. 
So we'll do the one guy first. We'll take sustained here. Yep. This is the one guy into the uh, four man squad. Ooh, only three hits, so he can't kill you. Uh oh, just one wound to AP two. Uh, he does. This was a gamble that's not going to pay off. <laughs> damage too, though, right? Yeah, it's two damage. Cool. So we're not taking it on the knob. Of course not. No, no. Um, that's we're not drawing you out of combat. Then we're going to have um, four guys. Uh, yeah, it's four, right? So 22 attacks over here. These will hit you on twos, exploding on sixes. So effectively just dropped one. Wounding on threes. That's going to be 12 saves. 12 saves. Okay. Uh, this is into the squad in the middle. Yep. yep. Oh, got him. Uh, oof, wow. I died. Okay. They tried. Uh. <laughs> now imagine two rounds of this in Bully Boys. <laughs> well, they wouldn't get the five up. No, no, no. I, I understand that. I'm just being a salty nerd. But yeah, imagine uh, if you haven't played versus the Meganovs yet, they are a sight to behold. Actually, he can't move further away from that. So um, I think I'm stuck where I am, and you get to do all your strike cool. attacks. All right, so we'll go into Valerian's unit first. We doesn't matter that we're not leading because we're not plus one to hit or anything or anything regardless. So just do our. Uh, we have to do our first attacks first, right? That are not devastating wounds. Yeah, yeah. So you can't. That's how if you works. start if you start with the extra attacks, then you only get the extra attacks. So. <laughs> Uh, so all hit. Mm -hmm. uh, he only wounded twice. So these are on two ups. Uh, I am going to roll these one at a time. Saved. And one at a time. Saved. Cool. AOC is such a big deal, guys. I think I saved three wardens because of the AOC now. It's going to be two hits. Uh, there. Two hit. Two wounds. And two wounds. These are on three ups. We still haven't high rolled that dev wound yet. Took it to one shot one. Per. But I've we'll been high rolling. All right. We'll get um, that's pretty solid. Hard to be upset by that. Uh, then we'll go over here. Uh, we'll do seven attacks. Oh, come on. Wound. These are on three come ups on, here. You want to kill things. Oh, kills one. Ooh, we killed the guy. We'll take it. I didn't like that. And oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> well, I'll take that, though. Beast bosses. Classic beast bosses. And then your storm boys. Ooh, my storm boys will attack. Yes, uh, we will obviously go with the one damage attacks first because we have watched Happy Crumping War Game today. Yeah, I think this was an error I made. <laughs> Punish me. Finish him. Uh, it will be five to wound because you're T seven or something, yeah. right? Yep. That is four four AP one saves though. Ugh. So uh, three up and a three up and a three up and a three up. Nice. Blessed. See, the key thing to remember in 40k is you will never be punished for your mistakes. <laughs> well, the key thing to remember about Custodes is even though the Custodes sucks, the, the data sheets are still Custodes data sheets. This is very true. Okay. Uh, just one save. Four up. Uh, I'm going to spend a CP annoyingly. Oh, this is a new battle round. Uh, I'm still going to spend it, actually. I'm not going to do it for free. I'm going to spend it. I'd rather not lose. Fuck. All right. Well, that kills two then. Right. Yeah, the good thing is these guys can now reactive move. Obviously, you don't want to lose two models to access that ability, but they can now reactive. Yeah. Well, I'll leave this guy here for right now because if you want to consolidate, you have to go to him, and then he dies in consolidation. Uh, I might... Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. It does get me a little bit of extra movement, so we will do it. Yep. Because I want to send these guys towards your Calidus on the home objective. It seems logical to me. So we might as well pick up any extra movement we can. Yep, yep, yep. In 40k, never, never, ever turn down extra movement. So at the battle round, he'll die because due to coherency. So for my turn, I will score. I don't get assassinate, do I? Uh, no, because the novel and smashes because they're not characters. And I only get two unknown prisoners. No, I got three unknown prisoners because I killed. I get five because I killed your um. Your yeah, yeah, you, you've killed the maximum. Um, assassinate. Do I keep it? I'm not like actually guaranteed to get it next turn at all because you're probably gonna fall him back. Yeah, probably. Um, I could also pick this as the prey unit and fall back and charge it just to do some damage to it. That could do. You're not going to do that though. Um, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> just, that's just not happening. Um, which means if you do fall him back ten inches, I could probably just kill you with Cleis next turn. You know, I'm going to hold on to it. Cool. We'll go on to your turn. No. 
So the difficult thing now is in a normal, in an index game, I wouldn't have to care about any of these interrupts because I would just fight on death. Yeah, Warhorde's still good, people. If you're still, if you're a, an orc player, look at the Warhorde. Okay, so one thing we're going to do, we're just going to try and bait out one of your CP by advancing right in front of this Calibus. Yeah, 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 I know what's happening. Because so, then you're going to grenade, and if I get lot lucky, you just kill me. Well, yeah, the hope is just that you spend the CP on the Overwatch to try and keep the Calibus alive so that I can interrupt. I'm actually not going to, but like, yeah. Uh, let's find out if we get a CP. Oh, okay. You don't get to have fun. Oh, go and draw your cards draw before card. you do anything else, yeah. Secure, uh, secure no man's land. Bring it down. Well, there's one fat thing on a big objective that's right in the middle that I want to take anyway, so that's Seems nice. Seems like this might be to... your prey. <laughs> I need to pick my prey. Well, I'm actually going to pick this as my prey. Okay, fair enough. Because I just want to... I have a lot of offensive benefits against it if they are my prey. Yeah, makes sense. And we, even if you move, let's say you move six back, it's not that big a deal. If you move six this way, you can't get behind the wall. So the Squid Hog Squad is just going to move up. Cool. And then say, what would the charge? So the charge would be at two right now. It would become an eight if you move back, but not everyone can move back straight this way because there's a massive tank in the way. Yep. So, cool. So I think that's the plan. So yeah, these guys are going to be the prey because they're still more important to kill for me. Yep, yep. And we do have a damage-free beast boss that could potentially just come on one tap this Caladius as well. Right. So, so that's fine. Uh, we're still moving this way. We will advance. Oh, this is just my 12-inch. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, just roll my advance if you don't mind. You got a 5, so 17 inches for you. We'll take that. Doesn't get us on the objective, but gets us over there to grenades this lady. Yep, yep, yep. And if we get lucky, we just kill her. I think I, have to, unlucky, I, think I have to stay for an, for an interrupt. I think I'm just going to let you see if you get the luck, I, to be honest with you. I would agree, yeah. I would agree. I kind of hate uh, the fact that so... I let you got to leave it up to luck, but I think it's the correct decision right now. Uh, so we um, need to... Grigor Pirot, right. you said AOC, question mark? Yeah, we, we mean armor contempt, so... Valerian, when you're in melee, he gives his squad the ability to ignore one blip of a, of armor penetration. So that's what we mean when we say that. It's not actually armor contempt, but it's the same effect as armor contempt in melee specifically. Yeah. It's essentially become a community-wide, uh, what do you call it, a universal special rule. Right, right. It's like how we call things vecting when you make uh, CP cost more, because that was used to be the only ability of... Uh... Oh, what's that Jukari Lord special name? Absurdian Vect or something? Uh, you're talking to the wrong guy here. I don't know any. I don't even know barely the port guy's names. Fair enough. <laughs> I do like the lore. I'm a pretty big fan, but I'm not like super into it. I read a lot of fantasy, but I don't read a lot of the Black Library because while I love the Warhammer 40k universe, I don't think the Black Library is the best writing a lot of the times. The only time I ever hear the lore is there's one tournament a year in Bournemouth where I go and stay with one of my old university housemates. And he listens to 40k lore to fall asleep. Oh, jeez. And that's when I interrupt. That's my one interruption with the lore every year. <laughs> oh, to fall asleep. Oof. Uh, double squeak bombs over here. Yep, yep. On twos. And that's going to be uh, three. I am within exactly six for my Witch Seekers. Well planned. And that's three damage. Um, then we are going to try and figure out how to manipulate. So in my head, I'm just saying, I hope you do. Uh, I guess we can screen the backfield. There's no reason to let you have a free ingress in our backfield and take a home objective if you, if you draw a capture. But why? So let's just position these grips around. But why? These guys are going to Why would you have to consider my plans, Josh? Josh. Obviously, ingress would stop you interrupting, which is very nice. But yeah, I, it'd be worth it, though. <laughs> the, power of the, in, the power of the ingress is probably worth Adds to the... Shrubail Vet is the name, by the way. Josh, thank you for not knowing the lore for me. My true friends will tell me in chat. Well, I'm glad. If you guys don't know, the, Josh the is on my team for Happy Krupp and Wargaming um, for our... We just, we just actually went, um, did a really great job in the tryhard team which was shit what was it 250 players in it 
And I think we ended up um, six or was it seventh after all the tiebreakers? Uh oh well you you can go have a look while I'm doing my move. No, nah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just wait. I'll wait till Seto you're... yells at me, and then he'll tell me because he's in chat right now. Um, uh, so we do have the description that will screen the rest of our backfield for us. Um, these beast snaggers are going to just come and try and do a bit of damage to these custodian guard. Oh, also this attachment is very nice for beast snaggers. AP two beast snaggers. Oh, crazy. gorgeous! An AP two beast snaggers, so sick. Going an extra two. Yep. Yep. So basically, my aim of the game this turn is just to try and pick up this unit, this unit, this Caladius, stop him holding his home objective, yep. and I'm giving up this side of the board. Pretty much. That's what I would do if I were you. And if I can do that, I think I will be in a good position. He will be able to ingress, but I think I'm in a good position at that point, because this last clock squad will be a pain to kill, I think. Oh, for primary, by the way, you had three points. Three. Yep. Yep. Oh, you already did it. Perfect. Uh, nice. Uh, that correction squad will advance and just spread out. Excuse me. Also, pro tip if you can't be bothered to measure your movement, just roll on advance. I love it. I love it. <laughs> if you're only ever going a short distance, just roll in advance. Just roll in advance. It's, it's that easy. Uh, we do want to. I wish I could put some more forward pressure to stop it to push his ingress back even further, but I think we're pushing it back quite far right now anyway. Yeah, I think it's pretty solidly done. It's not as far back as I'd like, but it's being pushed back. Yeah. Uh, we ended up in seventh, by the way. So what happened in that tournament was in the first round, we lost by one point. Um, we ran into a really killer team, and it was, it was a great we match. Played. We just ended up losing by one point. And because we lost you in the first, four WTC? oh yeah, so sorry, four WTC players, right? Yeah, I think it was all WTC, like, and they were led by WTC. Liam BSL, who's probably the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, um, he's lot, wild, widely considered one of the best players in the world. And uh, so it was, it was actually a great match. We're actually, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way it, it all went down. Um, but yeah, so we lost that first match by one point, and then we won every other match. But because we lost in round one. We were behind people who ended up losing in like round four, so we only got seventh instead of like the third place, like like our, what our battle points gave us. Uh, which, by the oh, way, yeah. is totally reasonable, and I'm not I'm not actually complaining about that at all because you have to have a tiebreaker somehow. So I completely get it, and I, I think we just did really well, and it was, it was it was a blast running through that. Josh, you got some amazing twenty O's due to uh some great plays, right? <laughs> yeah, I got some interesting twenty O's. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. So I think that movement done. So you, I'm just checking. I haven't left like a hole in the middle here. Yeah, check your hole. Uh, uh, if you're ingressing, you're ingressing. I haven't got any more resources to stop it at this point. Um, I think. All right. I I think I desperately want to ingress. I'm not certain it's the correct decision right now because. No, you know what. Cause yeah, cause I think you just kill this squad if I don't ingress, or if I if I don't interrupt. Damn, that's a tough decision, man. Having three speed would be uh, really nice. I shouldn't have rerolled that save. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, this is dead no matter what. I can't save it. No, because this is the this is the prey. You're not saving. Oh, you know, which means you would just start here anyway. Because yeah, even it, why be, would, because even why an interrupt would it, yeah yeah all right so yeah of course I'll wrap the ingress yeah absolutely because you would just interrupt that is why I would yeah consider ingressing yeah that would make sense. especially as I might even do I might even do the mortals on the charge here yeah totally so let me explain so, this like, to everyone you know, just just so everyone understands the reasoning so right now I really want to interrupt one of these fights but in all reality even if I interrupt with this squad and I kill all the beast snaggers which is pretty unlikely uh the hogs are still gonna kill me so I don't survive this. Which means Josh is just going to start with these beast snaggers first. And he's going to... He might not kill my squad, but he's going to seriously cripple me to the point where they're irrelevant. Um, so there's no point in me I'm really saving... Taking, Sorry, go ahead. I'm taking, I'm taking a reroll to wounds away as well. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's like there's essentially no point in me saving CP for interrupt because it's going to be irrelevant anyway. So I think the correct decision is just to do a rapid ingress. And I think I'm going to wrap an ingress right about here. 
if I'm not mistaken. So I'll have the ability to move towards these Shenagas or towards these Shenagas either way, but probably going to end up moving towards these Shenagas. Um, so uh, this. So the nine, you're easily nine inches away here. Six here. And I'm just going to make sure that this is a 10 inch charge in case you want to send them this way. Cause I don't want you to do that. Um, but I, so want, I want to have the option to go that way still. So. So the one other thing I've been learning about recently that I've been watching, I've seen in a few battle reports, uh, I've never done this before, but it's the ingress into heroic play. Like, that is a sick play. Oh, dude, it's so, it's so bad. You, obviously, you can't do it here because you haven't got free CP, but if you ever have free CP and you have a good melee unit in your reserve, look for those kind of things where people have set up a very obvious charge and just ingress your melee unit right oh, next to the unit they want to charge. It's so sick. And, then they will think twice about charge. Oh, let me take a note because I need to make a video on that because that, that's one that people will probably need to know about. I'm, I'm going to make a video yeah, specifically I've, on that. I've only just found out about it. Rapid yeah. ingress to heroic. Because I, I did I did a video on the fight phase, learning the entire fight phase steps today. So you guys should go check that one out. I uh, think it was really good. If you liked it, you feel free to leave me a like, subscription, and uh, share with friends. Also, super chats are appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do one on that rapid ingress heroic because that's a really sick strategy. So shooting phase, shooting and it's one that your opponent will not see coming. I can promise you that. So now I really regret not doing this Overwatch with the, with the Kalidus. Um, But you know what? It is what it is. I, I I just realized it a little too soon. Josh played a good game. But learn from our mistakes. That's what these streams are for, people. So Joshua, and also, let's go. My favorite thing to do in 40k, make your opponent make all the decisions. Just Absolutely. act quickly and definitively, and your opponent will think you know what you're doing. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, so I spent the CP. I'm throwing grenades at the Calidus. I'm totally surprised. Shock and awe. We really would like to get four mortals here. We got three. Three is pretty solid. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to shoot her with our pistols and hope we kill. You her. can't. No, you advanced that's... nerd. Yeah. Again, as I was just about to say, that's cheating. <laughs> uh, cool. So we are going to charge. We haven't killed the Calidus. That's not a problem. We're not going to charge the Calidus because I don't want to get overwatched and fight first it against. Yeah, because that's 100% going to happen. Cool. So now we will charge the Caladius Garant tank because there is no shooting to do. No, these guys didn't move. Uh, these guys didn't advance, so they could shoot, but I can't be bothered. Uh, let's charge here. You can shoot. That's right. <laughs> If you want. Actually, I guess you haven't got cover. You haven't got yeah, cover, have you? So we should do our... Save yourself the CP we for the mortals. Two hits. Uh, what? Two hits. Wounded five. five. That's a wound. One. If you won. Safe. Safe. Cool. Uh, two sluggers. Oh, geez. Eddie, what'd you do to me? These beers are pretty heavy. Oh, no. I'm just a total lightweight. They're only 4.9. Never mind. One wound. AP zero. One, sorry. Uh, I got distracted by uh, cloudy thinking. Saved it. Cool, and then the Grub Blasters, or whatever the hell they're called. Saddle get weapons. Saddle gets, bro. Come on. Uh, Nothing. No cool, so we are going to do the Mortals on the charge here. Yep. I wanted to do the Mortals on the charge here until I read the stratagem. It's only mounted units. Dude, that would be so... Like, if that actually worked on infantry, this would be the best attachment, I think. It would probably be broken. I'd You're be, I'd like be taking a 20-man with the Pain Boy, or the Pain Boss. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> That would be hilarious. You um, these guys are going to charge here. Yep. Into both. And uh, just into the Caladius. Okay. We've got enough space. Did you say the is the Caladius the prey target? I forget. Uh, no, these guys are the prey target because I want them dead. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, we don't really need any additional buffs here. No, no, no. Of course not. Kill these guys. Well, like, we might not kill you, but we should put you down very low. Uh, I mean, you got dev three. That's a. That's I do have dev three, and that does get round. The most <laughs> anti monster vehicle dev three. I don't have mortal protection. Oh, I do, actually, because she's within six as well. Yeah. I do expect. All right. So I do expect that to get FAQ'd. Um, that's that's one that they actually could yeah, do FAQ initially, um, is giving mortal mm -hmm. and dev from this. That would actually make a big difference. So we got so we're Mr. Charge here. I got a super chat from Mr. 50 Mike, you beautiful SOB. So the idea is drop nine inches away from an enemy, kind of by the unit that you know is going to get charged, and hope charge and give you slightly shorter hero intervention. Yeah, bro, that's it. Because if they high roll the charge, they might have to end up within two inches of the unit that you rapid ingress, and then you get to move on in and uh, wreck faces. 
Yeah, especially if you happen to be a fights first unit, like say, um, no, well, no longer Trajan Valoris, but some other people, right? There's other fight first units, if, yeah, especially yeah. if you can wrap against them. It's a big deal. It's a real big deal. Yeah, I think people like doing it with the Sanguinor. Because the Sanguinor is obviously very good with it. Exactly. Oh my god. Yeah, the Sanguinor okay. works real well. For, well, you don't even need to do the Sanguinor. He'll just pop down into into the um, oh, yeah, combat. That's true. Um, you... I'm sure there's some. Oh no, I uh, offended yeah, Eddie by, by by getting tipsy off of two beers. Now he's saying he's going to have to make me drink. Ugh. I'm not going to move any models for a second. I'm just going to let the lag. Oh, is it Ooh. lagging? Like, all right, I see. Yeah, it's all good. It's just combat movement is never good to do well. No, combat movement gets really, really messed up. And combat movement is one of the things to watch people do at tournaments because people do not do combat movement right oh, ever. Man, <laughs> dude, I... I... I watch people like a hawk during combat movement. People will be like, they'll be going to your home objective from their home objective if they could with combat movement. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, these snaggers will charge here. So this was an error. So yeah, you go and roll that while I talk a little bit. So this was an error for two because I wasn't paying much of attention. What I should have done is I should have gone ahead and moved my five inches. Had I moved my five inches for free with this captain, then he would not have been able to charge the snaggers into my Caladius. And these squig hogs would have failed that charge. So it's like you got to pay attention when you're playing. But this is the first time I played this detachment, so I don't feel too bad. I just want to point that out so that you guys can, you know, learn from my learn from my mistakes here. Ooh, and then that we have a snag a pile. Uh, you want to put the you want to put the knob in and then let this guy hold instead. Say again. You want to put the knob right here so that you can, you know, have non knobs hold coherency. Because someone's got to stand here, right? This guy, this guy was just going to go here. Oh, okay. This guy sorry. was just going to join the crowd. Yeah. yeah, but you need someone here, and you. Oh, I see what it is. I'm sorry, I was just being annoying. I need someone here. He's still going to be in engagement range to fight. Oh, I guess yeah. You yeah you wrapped around, didn't you? Uh, this is a little too far. Did you have the movement to make that legal? Uh, definitely this guy could have moved more because he was literally right. Okay, cool. Then yeah, perfect. No problem. And that so yeah, we are slightly awkwardly positioned. But... So then you're all good. Cool. Uh, now do I just try for this charge? No. I'll, if it was I'll only fight, if, if it was only fight first, I would risk it. But as it's Overwatch and fight first, yeah. No, thank you. Is there any defensive strategy I might be taking away from you? Or you, you don't have a defensive strategy? <laughs> what am I talking about? Defense? <laughs> Who are you talking to, nerd? <laughs> uh, uh, we're just doing the mortals on the charge threat. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. For eight dice, but it will be 11 dice because you are the prey. Oh, my. Uh, he is capped at six. Yep. Uh, so take six. I assume it's six... Uh, if you if you had feel no pains here, this is actually a question I have actually. Mm -hmm. Is it you are capped at six you can take, or is it capped at six feel no pains you can take? Uh, it's capped at six mortals. That's how every every strat in the game is worded. If there's yeah, a, I yeah, I assume this much. I just thought. And it's on it's on fours since I'm the prey. Is that right? Oh no, it's just yeah. on fours. Period. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's just free oh, wow, extra dice if you're the prey. Well, this is why we all hit custodies, everybody. Sometimes that happens, right? So yeah, uh, cool. I, I think talons might be necessary. Like you have to have talons because without the five up right now, you know what I mean. Like yeah, I, I would have lost six more custodians absolutely. by this point. I hate that because I think uh, shield yeah. host could could be good, but there's no mortal protection, so it has to be talons. We'll just go to the beast snagger boys up here. Yep. Go ahead. So we'll just go with our thirty six attacks. Uh, classic thirty six. And that will be hitting on freeze. Mm -hmm. Would you like to minus one to hit? I, I can't. Wow. Actually, do I have that in this in this disaster? I think that's in Shield Host, right? Yeah, that's the Shield Host. Uh, we'll be winning you on fours. So give me 17 free ups. This is where you pass them all just to. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's get to kill one. Oh, it only kills two at least. And one's yeah, on a wound. Two and one's on a wound. Uh, one's on a wound. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then the knob. Ooh, we'll hit. Uh, three more at 81 damage too. Oh, uh, watch this. Ah, and that was so many ones I just rolled. <laughs> okay, that was not good. We... Cool, and now we can fix our mistake from our combat movement. But 
Finally in. And getting better coherency. That was not my favorite thing that ever happened. So this is why even before, like, even with Shield Host, even with Fight First, I loved Snaggers into Custodes. Oh, yeah, Snaggers Because rock. obviously that was a low, a low roll on your side, but you're just handing them a lot of dice and giving them the chance to low roll. Yeah, yeah, totally. That was super um, So we're going to go to this middle unit now, and we're going to decide whether we want sustained fives. Let's do um, it. You are minus one to hit me on this squad, because I have the Radiant Mantle on this guy. Am I discarding a card this turn? Secure No Man's Land. No, I will not be discarding a card. Because yeah. I'm going to be scoring both. If I don't get bring it down this turn, I could probably keep it. So why don't why don't why don't, why don't, why don't, you, why don't you why don't you roll this first? Because if you don't kill it, then that'll give you information, right? Yeah, that's true. Good shot. Yeah, so just roll that one first then. Do the V spells cool. first. So two two's full rerolls. Because you get four and rerolls then... to hit against the prey. Oh no no you're snagging. Yeah, you're you're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right right right. That's gonna uh, be so nine. Damage. Casual. One two three four five have... six seven eight but nine five. Uh, this will be freezing to five. Four rerolls to hit. No rerolling fishing for sixes anymore. That was right yeah because we're not work word. Jeez. And then fives here? Uh, ten. And these are AP one or two? AP one. All right, this is not the prey. Okay, so these are three ups. Um, I'll do this. Takes one damage so far. Uh, takes three damage so far, so I got two wounds left. All right, got two wounds left. Okay. Uh, then the knob will go. You got four base, right? Should be, yeah, should be five in the in the wall. Yeah, cool. I did it right on the other one. Nice, cool. nice. Uh, uh, now I did not do it right here, so let's just take that out and start again. Okay. Twos, four rerolls, and then, and then we will be winning on fives. I'm not rerolling, so I'm just gonna roll two. Okay, right, so I will potentially reroll one of these. Save that. All right, now this will probably just have to get rerolled. All right, cool, nice. So he survives. So that see that influences you. That, that might actually change your decision now. Yeah. So we're just gonna go sustained hits here now. Yep, yep. I want this thing dead. Yeah, so that puts you to zero, I think. Yep. Cool. Killing custodes is still not the easiest thing in the world. No, I mean there's, there's I, still I maybe even should have I maybe even should have just gone sustained here. I for think the boss. so. I think so. You should have I think you should probably want to guarantee that died. Yeah, in retrospect. Uh, this guy is actually on top of this guy, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. Uh, he's battling. I don't see anywhere uh, where this everyone guy... doesn't fight, so you should be fine. This guy can touch here. This guy touches here. And then this guy just comes like that. Yep. Cool. So we will use the sustained here to make this up for our mistake not using the sustained elsewhere. So we've got. I'll just go ahead uh, you are that. Toughness? We'll just go ahead and back it now, sir. So. Yeah, we really wanted to cut out the step before we use this, but that's fine. Uh, your toughness seven. is seven, so Force. the boss is six. So everyone can go at the same time because strength six plus one or strength seven. Yep, yep. So one, two, three, four, five. So eight, uh, ten attacks from the bosses or the snatchers. Oh, right, right, right. Because 24 remote. from the hog. So 34. No, I can do them all at the same time because they both be winning on fours for different reasons. Yep. Uh, this will be freeze with exploding fives and sixes. It'll be fours because you just told me you want us one to hit. Heck yeah, baby. That was pretty good explosions, though. Gotta love it. Yeah. And then winning on fours. Fours. All right. And this is AP2 now, right? AP2 because you are the prey. And I have, a, luckily, you know, I'm Custodes and I have a minus one damage strat, but I don't. Ugh! Uh, that's gonna be the squad. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be the dead, squad. dead, uh, dead and dead. Yeah, yeah, just dead. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you get to fight with Taraxus and the Custodian Guard. Yep, let's do it, man. One Custodian Guard. I'm gonna punch the crap out of your beast snaggers, I think. Yeah, because there's no way I kill that beast boss at Squigasaur, so we'll just hit the beast snaggers. Um, they'll take a sustained hits. 
the um, guard first. All hit. Wounds on threes. Rerolls the one. So that's going to be five saves on your beast, Nagus. Yep, five saves on the old beast snaggers. Damage two, right? Yes, sir. Unfortunate. See if we get lucky with Let's anybody. See if we get lucky. No. Uh, and then we have Draxus. She'll hit on twos. Uh, that's gonna be one sustained hits. And then, oh wait, she doesn't have the Marshall Kata. Is that? Oh, I need to check now. Is Marshall Kata for um? The unit or for models? Sorry, you guys, just give me a second. I, I haven't actually. I need to check the new new Custodex because uh, that is just a thing that's I don't recall. You know, I don't even need to check it right now. Let's just say I don't get it because I don't remember. And then we'll wound you on threes here. So it's going to be three saves. Three saves. Two damage each. Alright, kills so then three more. And then because Custode is still Custode, right? I will swing at you. Yes, sir. With the boss. The beast boss on Skvigasar. Alright. That's gonna be uh, uh yeah, those ones. So these are gonna be on three ups, so I gotta take these two at a time now. So he takes two damage. Nice. Classic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then my Cladius, I guess, gets to punch you with my uh, six attacks. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Hitting you on fives. That's a hit. Get wounded on a three. Will it be That's a sixes because you're minus one to hit, or are you normally force? I'm normally force. I'm a custode. One guy takes a wound and dies. <laughs> and dies. Suffer, mortal. Okay, uh, not bad. So, yeah. That's all we have there, folks. Uh, how do you score? You gotta ditch it. Uh, I'll take, uh, I do not score. I still score, still score Ski on Emma's land. Yeah, yeah, you definitely and have I'm ditching. Here. You're ditching that for CP? I'll ditch it. Yeah, I'll just bring it down for a CP. Cool. Nice. Oh, uh, you did, yeah. And then if you just right click on to me, good sir. Mm hmm. All right, so I held on to assassinate. I think that was a good decision now. I'm going to draw another card for Storm Hostile. Also a good decision or a good card. So I'm going to get three here. This is empowered now. So now I'll get six here. So I'll get mm -hmm. nine total. On primary. Um, actually, yeah, because they're not below half. Because they start at 6, so they're good. Okay, so now I need to make decisions about how I play this. Um, there is nothing I can do about this. <laughs> so you're 100% taking my home field, and I can't do anything about it unless I charge these guards here. Which I suppose is kind of doable. You could, you could fall back and charge here yeah, to get the fight yeah. I could. You do need a battle shot pistol? Yeah, they definitely need a battle shot. That's true. Let's roll that. I'm not auto-passing, so they pass. Cool. Um, so that is the option is there now? I don't think there's... I just don't think I can do anything about this. Because even if I kill the snaggers, <laughs> the hogs still dominate, right? Mm-hmm. So in that case, cool. so the one thing I've been forgetting, guys, this game is the beast bosses give plus one to charge. Oh, nice. Not that it's not that it would have made a difference in any situation here, but just yeah, it's nice though. It's it's always it's it's cool to have modified. So like if you have to strat reserve charge something, you you're on an eight on the dice at least. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna storm hostels and do other things. Yeah, so you can't really send this guard unit towards the Snaggers just purely because of some monster, yeah, right? exactly. So let's go ahead and uh, just roll the battle stock on the Cladius. It passes. Not that it really matters. It doesn't change much. Um, so 
Valerian. Because the theme tends to Caladius to kill this on his back. See, I could send Valerian yeah. actually down here into this into the hogs. Mm -hmm. That's actually an option, depending on if I can get a little lucky and kill a few hogs with my Caladius here. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Had a had a, had a monster that came through. Thanks, Queen. I love you. Um, so we'll just put these nerds out like this. Wow, oh, jeez, I'm moving wrong. Okay. Uh, they get to move there. Well, I think the army that will be a big problem for this army, even with the five plus, so is. T Suns is just going to pick up these sisters and then destroy it, right? Well, they at least they have a three up against psychic and mortals now, so it's not like exactly Ooh. easy. Okay. Um. So actually, and and I do, I, I, I have a stratagem for a fort field of pain against psychic and mortals. So actually, this army probably will... can play T Suns, but any other any detachment time... just auto loses. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, we'll take this tank and we're going to put him like here. Yeah, T Suns is going to be a, and especially as T Suns are getting a lot more popular as well. Yeah, it's it's a problem. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad timing for the old uh, Custos to get a bad book just as T Suns are becoming like one of the more, the more popular armies with good players. I think so, right? Kind of hating that they're getting a uh, getting decently good now. <laughs> uh, let's move you a little further backwards, actually. We'll just rotate that spear. Obviously, there's always the caveat people make with uh, people need. To, to play T Suns, you need to be good at T Suns, but That's people will be getting good at T Suns. That's a true statement. Play more. Put you there. Also, this situation, this situation, if you are at a tournament and people tell you, I am picking the Cladius up every turn, they pick the Cladius up every turn. The Canada up every turn. <laughs> 100%, dude. If they're saying if you've told me if you've told me at the start of the game, i because they would expect the same back. Yep, they would. If they've forgotten to pick the Calidus up, they will pick the Calidus up. A hundred percent. And if they So if people tell you they're picking the Calidus up every turn, you don't have to be like a dick about it, but you're like Bruh. Just like, bro, you did say you were picking the Calidus up every turn, whatever happens. Okay. So essentially, if you are if you are playing a color, just don't tell people that. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you just remember your rules, right? It can be hard, but exactly remember yeah. your rules. Like, don't put yourself in the situation where somebody can call you on that. Um, because they're not they're not unjustified to call you on it because you have said. Let's advance the sister, the prosecutors. <sighs> oh, they're in the They're everywhere. The three of them. Yeah, right. Because you think about putting a rhino in, because I saw people liking putting, I saw people talking about, because the, the rhino gives the key. Yeah, the, it, it does. The... I considered it, but dude, it's 75 points. And cause, uh, well, also, like, if points drop, as I pray they do, like, maybe, but as of right now, no. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, then these nerds are right here. I think I do fall these nerds back. Um, so I'm going to spend two CP here. For fallback Ooh, and grenades, actually. If the, if the warlord is in a transport, you can elect that. Tra oh, because you can choose vehicles anyway. Don't worry. I'm speaking, I think I thought there was something cool about the big hunt then. But... Oh, they're falling back. And charge. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And so they're going to so, right here. The one thing to keep in mind when you charge, uh, this guy can heroic for free. So if you charge the boys, just... I don't think it will come up, but just keep it. Cheers. Are you going to do a reactive movement when I fall back from you? Uh, I'm tempted to just get this guy out of dodge, and then you can just kill the no, snaggers. Because I, I have one CP. Well, you only get to move to six, that. right? I only get to move six, yeah. yeah. So I just move him over there, then the custodian guard just come in and kill the snaggers, and then you have to charge off the objective. Mm -hmm. sure. Oh, I just get the snaggers out of dodge. Now nah, I'm going to move the beast boss for a CP. Let right. me just check. If I can uh, just check if there's any limitations on who can move. It's just towards the closest enemy unit, right? So I don't think it really helps you. Oh, is it towards the closest? I think so. I don't know that, so you definitely check. 
Uh, if you, uh, I can make a normal move of up to six. Yeah, I'm just going to bolt the boss back a bit. Cool. I don't want to. I don't foresee myself interrupting this turn. Oh, it's so not. It's, towards, just it's, it's not towards the closest. Nope, it's just a normal move. Oh, that's pretty sick. Six Super sick. Nice. All right. Well, in that case, um, that's going to be the end of the movement phase. So let's do some uh, shooting. We'll go ahead and shoot my Witch Seekers at my Beast Boss and Squigasaur up top. Yeah, you can definitely see that me and Johnny haven't played, or at least I haven't played this detachment before because I'm not 100% on it with all my... Yeah, I, mean, I haven't either, so that's fine, right? So that's going to be four uh, on your Beast Boss and Squigasaur? AP0? Four on my Beast Boss and Squigasaur, AP0, so I think he's got four up now. He probably still has a three up. Or he, got... he might still have a three up. Yeah, they, would, they wouldn't have taken his armor save away. I'm, I don't know, man. These rules writers. Uh, let's find out. Uh, <laughs> he has got. Yep. Cool. So, full thunder pains. No, no, it's just damage one, dude. They weren't damage two. Those were those were the the witch seekers. Oh. So the first two. Okay. So, oh, I mean, was, you sa two. you saved one of them, right? Because you rolled a four and a six on the first two. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. Fine. Um, over here, I'm going to go ahead and throw a grenades at your beast boss and squiggers. Oh, okay. Wait, you have grenades too? Kyria Draxis has grenades. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, I thought Custodes didn't have them. They don't. Custod that's right, Custodes do not have grenades, but Kyria Draxis has grenades. Cool. Take four, nerd. Ooh, nice. nice. I take will four. Take that was four. actually a good one. I'm happy about that. Okay. Um, then my Cladius will shoot his big pew pews into the hogs and his small pew pews into the beast negas. Let's go big pew pews first, hitting on threes. Just one hit. That's a wound. Uh, AP3, you don't um, hit. You you get yeah. uh, that, wait, it's damage D6 plus one. Yeah, it's D6 plus one. So you roll two ones and a... Cool. Uh, that's going to be six damage. So. so I need to do three more, and he's already taken two. He's done. Cool. One guy dead. And then three Will small be... shots into the snaggers. This will hit on threes. Two hits. Wound on threes. Nothing. Um, then the Cladius will go ahead and do her Flamer. That's going to be six shots. These will wound you on twos. AP, I think it's two? Yeah, it's AP two. Yeah, AP two. So that wipes them. Um, then I'll have some, this guy, he's going to shoot. So he can't shoot them because you're engaged. He'll shoot his small shots at your grots, and then he'll shoot his big shots at the beast boss on Squigosar. Big shots. Be three hits. Winning on uh, T8. So three, yep, yeah, on your end one. Ooh, okay, just one. It's going to be five damage. Got him. Does he still have that big demise? Well, if he does, he doesn't have that big let me just check. Cool. Uh, he does. I'm gonna roll his. Not little... appear to have the. Not appear to have deadly demise anymore. So three hits because the explosion of the grots and twos. That's gonna kill three grots. I mean it's AP one. You do have something cover, so. Yeah, but even in cover oh, you don't yeah, get so seven up. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so it kills three grots unless you want to uh, take it on the herd on the right herd. Uh no, I don't think so. These guys are still to shoot. Yeah, they haven't shot yet, but they can't shoot. Uh, anything, so I guess so what, it doesn't I, matter. I, there's nothing for them to shoot, right? They can't see the run head. Okay, well then, yeah, the run head can live. We'll take away these guys. Okay. Um, uh, pretty solid. Oh, at least I have you solidly just here in the middle now. Uh, yep. over here I'll shoot into the beast boss on Squigosaur, with Draxus and oh. the one lone custody guard. Yeah. The lone custody guard hits on twos, and I do actually control the objective now, which is cool. Both hit wounds on. Uh, do I do because oh no, I'm OC three. No, you're OC two. What am I talking about? I don't control it. That's two hits. Yeah. I'm gonna wound you on um, a six. That's one wound at AP one. Saved it, and then my other squad so, will also shoot everything in him. Also, what we were talking about about heroics. This is gonna be a big deal. If this guy can reactive move and then heroic for free, that's cool. His unit can potentially be really annoying. Yeah, that's actually really sick. Uh, you, you only get to do it one in ten games, but when you do get to do it, it's, it's going to feel sick. great. 
Uh, you saved it because I think you should be in cover. Yeah, you're in cover. Yeah, because all right. Um, they'll just shoot again. They'll just do it again. They're not gonna get another shot at it anyway. Cool. And then looking for sixes. Reroll those ones. Ooh, three tie time. Save them all. And then we, I think we're just into charge phase. So mm -hmm. four. Can I get him on four? Tough decision. Uh, can I kill him with four wounds left? Uh, if I. Um, it's a tough when does the when does your reroll wounds get decided? At the start of the phase. Oh, so no. Yeah. I don't think. So I you can. charge into that rerolls the wound. Yeah. As long as you don't roll too high and then because one of them has to come off the objective. So. Yeah. Um I do think I'm gonna go into the hogs with Valerian. Yeah. Man, is that the correct decision? Oh, I already moved him off the objective like an idiot. So yeah, it is the, it's the correct decision now, that's for sure. <laughs> uh he makes it on a seven. Cool. So the slightly restricted part of the hunt, I would love to make Valerian's unit next turn the prey, but I can't. Why not? Because you'll have a vehicle still left, so it'll have to be this Caladius. Oh, really? You can only use characters if there's no vehicle monster? Yeah. Oh, you can only you can use annoying. Warlord or a vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and roll my four-man into the Snagas. They did slightly it. restricted. Yeah, I would love to have just chose these guys and then fallen back and charged into them, but alas. Alas. Okay. Well, actually, I think just the, just the extra AP would have been the biggest deal. And then these guard, I think they're just going to go into uh, Snagas as um, well. Yeah, cool. Four, four. And then we will heroic in. Dope. Fight with. No reason why not, I don't think. Cool. We could die. That, that is the reason why not. But and then yeah, we could die is a very significant reason why. <laughs> yeah, that's not the worst reason. Right? Um. Okay. Yeah, because if you kill these guys with them, this guy would get to pile into the boss. Pretty much. So yeah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, no, thank seems you. Seems like a terrible decision, personally. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. So no, then, in that case, uh, I'll just start with Larian's squad. Cool. So I'll stop thinking about my turn. My hope in my turn will be there. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna have ten attacks. We will sustain hits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drop one effectively because of the hit, and then forge to wound. Uh, it's AP two on those, two damage each. So sixes. Starting on the sergeants. Yep, yep. Actually, let me just check the sergeants up position somewhere horrible for me. Seems reasonable. They are, they are not, so we can just do the sergeants. Uh, one is dead. Oh, no, one's not dead because they're full wounds. That's why we started on the sergeants. Hey, so we got uh, just really quick. Uh, um, thank you, thank you for checking this, Joe. So, uh, Mass Brofect went and checked it for like uh, the Marshal Kata rule. It is each unit from your army with this ability. Um, is it unit or is it model with the ability? If you wouldn't mind checking, buddy. Because unit means that they that she would get sustained. Model means that she would not, right? So if you wouldn't mind checking that for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I have Valerian. Sorry about that. Uh, I was uh, just kind of yeah. getting caught up a wee bit. Then we have seven attacks with Mr. Valerian. All right. So that's going to be um, two explosions, effectively. And then we're going to wound you on threes here because he's strength eight. Those are going to be AP three, oh. so no saves. Two damage each. That was quite a big high roll. Yeah, that's that was pretty be... solid. Not, I'm not mad about that. Yeah, so that's the sergeant there that was on one wound. That's the... Well, luckily, we've high rolled you quite back, so... Uh, let's get rid of those dice. That's the sergeant dead, one pig dead, and then that all to... One, two, take three. All that kill one pig. And then a guy takes a wind. So yeah, we high rolled, we high rolled you right back. We took this pig, that's two pigs, and the sergeant. Okay, I can accept that actually. We'll take, we'll take that considering how well you rolled. That works. I'll take that fight. 
happily. Um, then I'm going to go over here with this four-man squad. And they're basically just going to kill your Snagas with 20 attacks. Mm -hmm. So I was... Yeah, so you can go with the four-man squad, then you can pile into... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then yeah. threes, re-rolling. All right, damage to each. Rolling saves here. Right, and then I'm just going to do this. And then do this. And then I'm going to punch you with my one custodian. He's going to have um, your T8 now, but I am controlling the objective. Keep. So I think I'm going to keep sustained. Cool. So the big difference between this in War Tribe and Bully oh, Ball uh, not Bully Ball. whiffs. Rerolling. Just one AP2. Two damage. Takes a wound, and then right. Draxus. Up to Draxus. Let me see if he checked. He says each unit. Okay, so she does get the sustained here. Cool. Uh, that's going to give me a bonus, and then I'm going to on fives here. Rerolling. Just one more AP2. She, she hits on freeze in combat. Yeah, I know, but you're Xenos, so she's plus one, because she gives the squad plus one against Xenos. Uh, yes, 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 you did tell me that. Yeah, yep. cool. No. Uh, I'll just be back there then. Yep, yep. Uh, I guess we should go here technically first because you can hit me with your clay. That would be the technically correct thing to do. Let's not lose a boy for no reason. Uh, beast boss. All hit. Uh, all hit. We just need one four here. You got him. Let's go. Let's blow up. Come on. Now. All right. So that's that. So we pile back onto this objective, I guess. Seems just logical. Just so we have enough. Uh, I have enough OC already, right? Yeah, because I have OC 6 on it right now. So even if I fail my Battleshock test, I hold this objective. You have uh, OC as as, Yep, eight. we have yeah, 8. You're good, you're good. Yep. Uh, then I will go to the Beast Boss, mm -hmm. and then the Squid Fox. Beast Boss. He's down to 6 attacks because we're not in the war anymore. Nice. Oh, Beast Boss. Why do you do this to me? One wound. Saved it. Uh, one hit. One hit. That's a wound. One wound. On a four up now. Um, I have a no CP, so you do kill the nerd. Cool. I'll take that, and I will not consolidate into a Lord Inquisitor Kiria Drax. Lord Inquisitor. Ooh, Maybe. Oh, I, I completely will. forgot to shoot with her. Damn. Anyway. Did I get overwhelming? No, I'll stay where I am. I feel like it's probably better to be able to move my beast boss. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, hogs. Nine attacks from the hogs. The hogs. Nice. Oh. Two wounds. Uh, AP zero. Save him. See, that would have been another one that would be dead right now. <laughs> oh no, or it'd be another yeah. one that would have taken two damage at least. The, the armor of contempt on Valerian is so critical now. Yeah, there'll be other armies it's not as important into, but into this army, it's huge. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm not, not hitting. Cool. Um, That's going to be the end of my turn. Is... The end of your turn. So I am going to get Storm for five. And I am yeah. going to get a. Do I have Assassinate? Yes. Because I killed the uh, guy up top. Yes. And then I should have nine IE on that. So we'll go on into your turn. You should get six on primary? Yeah. Yep. Six. Uh, oh, this is going to be a lot closer than I was expecting, two. to be honest with you. The, uh, I just haven't been killing. I haven't been killing. Overwhelming. Overwhelming and force engage. and engage more. Those are both good reasons. Uh, um, I don't know. I can't really get engaged because I need all my units to kill the things for overwhelming force. Fair enough. Uh, do I get a CP for the first turn? Lee. Gretchen. Oh, like one? No. Oh my god. They do not behave. The Gretchen hate you. They're getting the good bits. Mm. Uh, the prey has to be this Caladius, so I don't have an army rule for this turn, which is annoying. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. So, what do we do here? We have two CP. Dos sepe. 
Josh, entertain people with your melodic voice. I am going to grab a drink. All right. Well, guys, if we've learned anything from this game, just play Buddy Boy. I think we can all agree. And play better in the game. Uh, we are going to now try and kill this Warden Squad again. I think we can do it this time because he has no protection to the Lord Jesus anymore. We will try and tank him. We will try and kill him. We'll try and take this objective from him. Nothing we can do about this objective. Nothing we can really do about this objective because we our grots are back here. The grots, the grots, the grots. So I think what we have to do is we have to accept the E. So you have one CP, so you can't heroic me, which is good. Accurate. Which means I can just kill Jaraxxus. Do you think you can kill Jaraxxus? Do you think you have that power? Jaraxxus, Illidan Lord of <laughs> Burning Nature. I'm just going to take a moment, and I just want to say, right now, we got 74 people in chat, and this is freaking awesome that you guys are, like, loving 40k, and you're just hanging out on Thursday night with us. Really enjoy it, and I appreciate all you guys, like, all your support and attention, man. I'm really glad you guys are hanging out here. That's freaking awesome. The attacks that these guys have. They will have five each. Or, I'm sorry, no, those are Witch Seekers. They have two each. And Sister Superior has two each. Yeah, they all have two each. What are you hitting on? Freeze? Uh, freeze? All Oops. right. Time to hit a 10 inch charge, boys. Is it is it is it grot time? It's time to hit a 10 inch charge with the grots. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna I go ahead and overwatch 10. you. One, two. Can he can this one see you? Uh, uh yes. Alright, so I got three flamers on you. Yep. Pew pew pew. Do you want to do you want to just like pop him here so I can't do that? It's it's okay if you want to do that. Uh, sure. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, so then I will have I would just have two. So I'm still going to do the two. Cool. Because I don't think I have reactive movement anywhere makes any difference at all. So two six. Oh, come on, nerds. Come on, nerds. Damn it. These Gretchen are going to pieces. All right. So that's seven shots. Wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. All right, six saves, no eight, no cover. Uh, six saves, no cover. AP zero. Zero, no cover. So do we just say sucks to be these guys? Four. Who's dying? This guy has the ten inch, right? Which is fine because he could bump one or two sisters in combat and then we'll take that objective. No, we won't because it's just big two. Yeah, he's got that big fat butt. So now, all right, we're just going to hire all some saves on the Heck yeah. front head. Let's do it. Fives for days. Five up. Saves one. Five up. Oh, geez. You got three left. Five oh, up. Oh, you asshole. Five up. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Five up. Uh, okay, we'll take it. That was ludicrous. Oh, that's what I get. Nice. Good shot. Uh, 11 inches. It is, now 11. <laughs> it is now 11, sadly. But, yeah, looks like it ain't getting better than an 11 anyway. <laughs> that's hilarious. We can measure it as many times as we want. It ain't getting better than an 11. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, Will Walker we has have... canceled his meeting for the day to hang out with us. That's glorious. We have to kill this. Now you can't react to move at least, so we are going to move <laughs> here. Get on the board, please, if you don't mind. I'm going to need you to not get off of the board. Fine, I'll follow the rules. <laughs> what a loser. He, if you, this guy plays by the rules. What a nerd. <laughs> um, maybe I should have just got rid of engage. Show engage. Is there anything fancy we can do here? Could have been a fancy no, guy. I don't Oh, it's just a question of do we have the time to listen to one? I can just deny this objective, not kill Valerian's unit, come here, kill the Calidus. Get capture later on. Seems logical. Uh, I think I want to kill Valerian's unit. I think killing Valerian's unit is the move. Let me just read something. Oh, I need to battleship these guys. 
Ooh, unideal. 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 Because you can only empower objectives that are in no man's land, actually. Yeah. Falling back. What a loser. Oh, did you pass your battle yeah, shot? Yeah, I failed my battle shot. I failed my battle shot, but oh. passed my desperate break. Oh, nice. All right, well, that works then. We're happy. Yeah, we'll take it. The only awkward part is they were the person that were meant to be throwing grenades. Oh. <gasps> because the Beast Snagger boys do not have grenades. Oh, that's true. So we just need to high roll with the Beast Boss in combat instead. Yeah, that'll be that'll do. That's that's all you needed. Because that is the only way we can kill you with Dev wounds. You mean you, you don't think that your AP1 is going to be good enough? Somehow, no. Where I'd like some AP3, where I wish I had Gaz in this list, where, like, the original written list. Yeah, right. They're just going to say, oh, AP minus one. Well, here's AP3 damage four. AP3 damage four. Enjoy it. Big question from Mr. Mac Mask Perfect, dropping a super chat. Thanks so much for your for your uh, support and everything. I really appreciate that. Real question is, how long will it take you to rip apart all your whole custodians so you can model them as females? Dude, you can't ask me that on YouTube. <laughs> Ugh. That is not a YouTube He's question. Like, that is a DMs question. But basically, I'm never doing that. <laughs> These Gretchen are advancing into this truck. Ugh. Truck hopping, gotta love it. <laughs> and then we will just move this truck up a little bit. Just so, because you don't have a sticky objective thing in this I do one, right? not have the ability to sticky, no. So the plan essentially is we're just going to put the truck here, over like here, so the Gretchen can advance out onto that objective next turn. Makes sense. Logical. Uh, then... Beast boss will just charge Draxus and we'll charge here and hopefully high roll some. Uh, what you call it? Dev wounds. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Let's go for the most important charge. Let's play Warhammer, baby. Uh, the 11 inch charge. <laughs> the grots. No. Oh, <laughs> that's not, not that, very much not 11. Uh, let's figure out what this truck's charge is. He obviously needs to do a bit of rotating. Uh, it's not hard at all. That's like, I don't know, maybe a eight. No, it's not bad. You can just rotate cool. from here to here or something. All right, we can measure it. Let's measure the seven then, because that very well could work. Because, yeah. <laughs> of course, we would roll the one number that Yeah, is. right. So you could come up like this. That's a two. And then yeah. that's a five. That looks in. Cool. That, so that, we'll that take shock you. Yep. You are out of sister's range finally. I believe. He believes. Two. Oh, oh. yes. We ain't, we ain't killing. Uh, Beast boss will charge. Yep, yep. Beast boss on squeaker soul. Beast boss on squeaker soul. What's he charging? Uh, just Draxus. Okay. Oh yeah, you, I keep you, you get overwhelming, didn't you? Yeah, I need to kill her for overwhelming. Yeah, that's that was the other temptation to go towards the Calidus. Was to just take overwhelming, but I think if I could finally wipe this unit with tank shock and whatever, it's it's good for you. <laughs> yeah, if I can do it, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to, but we'll try. We're going to just keep on giving it a good old college try. We're going to keep on keeping on, baby. I think this is my last roll of the dice. Are you like... Something like that. Let's make sure that you touch uh, in there. Get everyone nice and yeah. base to base. Uh, he cannot fight. That's hilarious. Uh, that really sucks that your beast boss doesn't fight there. What? Your beast boss is not base to base, bud. Yeah, I get piling still, and I did oh, oh, this, this, oh, this is the charge. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're still yeah. charge. All right. Then you're 100. percent I charge. Gotcha. I charged. <laughs> My bad. Oh wait, you mean you I mean, get a charge phase and a piling phase? Finding it difficult to move my models because of the leg. What is this game? You think you get to charge and piling? Ridiculous. Yes. I got turn. Uh, just rotate him so he's not putting his axe in his beast boss's ass. Uh, cool. Yep, yep. Then we will fight. Uh, 
Beast Boss. All right, man. One quicker sword will go first because you can have CP to interrupt. So let's just go Beast Boss on quicker sword because he's not using any stratagems. And then twos to wound. And then fours to save. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, dead all the way. Like a hundred million thousand times yeah. percent dead. Uh, we can't get any close to the objective because we don't want not there. We would want to anyway. Um, right. So let's go with all the beast snagger boys attacks first. Snaggers. Everyone fights. Can you... uh, so we are going to just spend for sustained hits here. I'm okay. just going to try and hire all of it. Dope. Is the plan. Uh, if this was teams, I probably would have just gone for the Calidus and just taken the easy points. Yeah. But if it was a singles game, I have to win the game. Absolutely. And if, if this is the how to win the game, I think. Let's see it, baby. Uh, okay, so we're going twos, no rerolls. Sustained six. Is, sustained is just on sixes, I believe. When you are not the prey. I'm just checking. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, drag it down. Yeah, I get sustained. I love spending CP for something I already had before. And you spent two CP for that, right? Uh, I did not. I'm cheating, so I am not spending CP for it. Nice. We're just rolling dice. Let's roll some dice. So we're just hitting on twos. And we do not have sustained it. Oh, we're winning we did five. roll the fives. <laughs> These are on twos. Yeah. You did kill one uh, guy, which is good. It's actually very good. Yeah, we got one. Yeah, well, it could have been no guys, so I'll take yeah. I'll take one over none. <laughs> you did you did get the one that you didn't want to have to waste a dev wound into, so that that that's good. Yeah, a hundred. Oh, you know what I'm gonna uh, do? And uh, wait, wait, stop. You know what I'm gonna do to really annoy the piss out of you? Because once per game. Oh wait, no, 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 I I fast rolled it, so never mind. I can't do that. I, I did a fast. It was a fast well, roll. Got, is there a way to reroll to save them? No, Valerian can flip a die to a six. But I did it as a fast roll, so I can't do that. That's fine. Uh, we'll hit. Uh, uh, that is zero damage, two ones. Uh, I'll take two damage, no problem. Hey. Two damage. Okay. Cool. And then we'll just do the beast bosses six attacks. Because mm -hmm. while they wound on fours, I want more chances at dev. Definitely. That again would be very nice, thank you. I just want to fill the wardens off. Nice. That's one wound? Just one wound, yeah. And I'll roll it, and if I fail, I'm just going to flip it. Oh, come on. Yeah. No, just don't even. Just don't even. Roll it. it. Ah, well, okay. Because he has one for the game. Yeah. yeah, I don't so want to waste it, but I don't have to. He's got yeah, one yeah, wound. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, I think the game's probably over, but we can play out the last little The rest bit. of it goes pretty quick, I think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't get overwhelming. I get overwhelming for free. Yep. Uh, I don't get engage. So this is the big problem with this. This was scoring a secondary. It's just there's so many points in those free units. It becomes. It's not like you've got six trucks to go and do stuff. That's right. The I'm right. Difficult. Those storm boards are really important. Uh, cool. I will pass the turn to you. And you're going to rack up a hell of a lot of primary. Uh, Not too much. So I'll get three here. I'll get three here. And I'll get three here. So I just get nine. Oh, okay, yeah. True. You don't have any characters on Yeah, the exactly. I mean, Valerian's on there, but he didn't empower it, right? So. Uh, you have an attack. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll run my attacks. Fair enough. Because um, you might hold the objective if you kill enough. Because I'm battle shocked on my squid hogs. So this guy's based. You was, you would have you had to base me here. So I'm gonna put every obviously everything into the hog into the snaggers. So I've got the yep. um. I guess I can just roll them all together because it's all going straight through anyway. Uh, yeah. So I'll go sustained. Yeah. All right, and then I'll wound on threes. So that's gonna be five damage to each. Eighty two. Seems a bit lucky. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, cool. One, two, three, four, and five. I think that's still fine. Cool. All right. Okay, and then so for my draws, I draw 
capture and deploy. Um, deploy is very hard to get right now. I might be able to get it with my witch seekers, so let's just put that up. Can I get them within? Do they go the weapons? Nah, they do not. So, oh, but she can actually still get there. Cool. Just about. Yeah. So she'll just draw right here. Mm hmm. And then they'll be in position to Overwatch for next turn. So they'll get me three on deploy. My Caladius is going to do this. Let's just leave you on the objective there. Um, I need to roll Battleshock on Valerian Squad. They pass. I need to kill this beast boss. So I think what I do is I'm going to shoot over here. Cool. I think the biggest, biggest thing this thing, this list misses is non-conditional on the spot minus one to wound. Oh, dude, it's such a big deal, right? The minus one to wound thing is just bananas strong. She'll just kind of run back on, here. On a profile which is T7, and then you're getting shot by a lot of strength six stuff, strength four stuff. Yeah, it's just, making all of that go to fixes makes a big difference. I think so too. And then I'm gonna spend one CP to fall back Valerian and the Wardens. Um, You can just force me to shoot the squid cogs, but then everyone else will just still shoot them anyway, so I don't really care. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling the absence of the most here. Okay. Would you like to move? Um, I can't move the squid cogs because they're battle shocked. Oh, that's annoying. Um because I end a normal move, I could move the beast snagger boys into the truck. Oh damn, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you totally can. That's a, actually a big problem. Uh, so I might as well do that. Yeah, that's a great, uh, that's a great plan. Assuming, assuming I can get within, yeah, yep. everywhere. There's just a normal move of six inches. Yes. So yeah, that's an actually really really good move. Okay, that's a cool thing to, to to learn and think about. That's nice. Oh, it's almost charging phase. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, cool. It does require somebody to do a fullback move specifically, so it's a little bit less flexible than some of the other people. But yeah, good that's, to keep in mind. No, that yeah, that's a really really cool thing actually. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some shooting. So all of my uh, guard here, they're going to shoot your hogs. You will get um, mm -hmm. cover, obviously. We'll hit you on twos, and then we'll wound you on fives. Rerolling. That's going to be two saves, AP one, so fours for you. Same both. Um, nice. Valerian and the warden will also shoot the hogs. It's going to be one extra gun there. And then we'll wound you on fives. That's one AP one. I don't think you can cover from them though. So you saved it anyway. The Cladius is gonna blast the crap out of the um the truck. <laughs> the truck that now has a squad on it. Yeah, right. And then it's going to shoot the Gretchen with its small guns. Cool. So hitting all twos. Uh, those sixes are lethals, and then these will wound on threes. So that's going to be four on your invul. All right, so he's dead. Um, I can ward the roll this for you. He's super dead. Yeah. Do I explode? Shit, you actually Ooh. do. That's really annoying because you're going to kill my warden. Uh, well, oh, no, I, I do have feel no pain at least. Warden. I do have feel no pain at least. Uh, the wardens. Yep. Take two. Take two. Ah, you still killed him. Balls. We did it. It only took us all game, but we killed the wolf. We did it. So that's why you need Valerian, because that's a big deal. The sisters. Mm -hmm. Take two. Uh, and I think they're... Let me just check, but I'm pretty sure their new ability is they actually get the against mortals as well. I just need to check. I'm just going to roll them. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll the others I'll, I'll, while I check, if you don't mind. I pick one, and I feel no pain. Oh, the Gretchen might actually be in range as well. Oh, my. They're not. And uh, I guess we will get out back here. Out of curiosity, would you have still fallen back if you knew about the getting into the truck? Um, probably. I think actually, if if I'm trying to be yeah. honest with myself, I think probably. But it's something that's good to be able to think about. Yeah, it's it's like yeah, especially if you're going to be 
So they do have a three up against yeah. that, which is nice. Cool. Uh, it was two against the sisters, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, they passed both. Uh, that's not gonna yeah. be holy. Well, <laughs> yeah, he he ain't fitting back there. Nah, you're gonna have to let me see him. So we'll just have to come here. Yep. Um, uh, I guess we can make it a slightly long. If I move this beast snagger boy, can he fit here? No. Cool. Fat ass base ain't fit in. All right. So we might as well just make it so. Yeah. We've got as many guys here as we can. We'll pile in the stuff if you whipped your attacks. Yep, yep, yep. So then I will do a. Um, oh, and my little shots go into the Gretchen. I hit you on twos and kill on twos. One dies. <laughs> One Gretchen dies. Suffer, Gretchen. How dare you try to live on my battlefield? Suffer not the Xenos to live. Okay. Um. Then we are into the charge phase. These four are going into the squig boss. Oh, look at that. They made it. I'm happy to pick him up. Cool. And then I will go um, Valerian. I think he needs to go into the hogs, if I'm not mistaken. You don't charge. You don't get You don't get dev wounds right now. I can... Nope. Let's see. Let me copy him. Can I make this a six-inch charge into both squads? Yeah, it looks like can. I don't. I don't know if I can make it a six-inch charge into both squads. Is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, maybe it's a because if you land there, let me if just. I go six. Do this for you. Oh, I'll point one out. Yeah, looks like yeah. That looks the way you have the model. Then yeah, looks like you're good. But that's 6.2, so that won't work. So it needs to be a 7. Okay. So it will be a 7. Yeah, it'll be a 7. Um, I don't know what the correct decision is, so I think I'm just going to charge my Cladius into your Grotz. Yep. Thinking time. Thinking charges. <laughs> yep. And we're just going to do that, and I'm just going to Tank Shock you. Cool. Which is going to give me, I think... You even, need, you even need to Tank Shock me? you got 6 attacks, and you... I hit on 4s and 2s. And you, and you have enough OC that you can do a pile and consolidate and take that objective, which I don't want, since I went first. So it's 10 dice. Uh, with a pile and I'd have to base, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to do it anyway. So that's 5 dead. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it regardless. <laughs> uh, so one, one survives. And then Valerian, I think I'm just going to send him only into the hogs. Cool. And a five makes it. Okay. And that's that. So we'll just roll Valerian's. Uh, he'll go sustained. That's one bonus. And then we will be wounding you on uh, threes. And I'm just going to flip one of these to a six now. With his once per game ability. Cool. So that's going to be six. Uh, no armor saves. It's AP three. Nope. Damage to. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Okay. Uh, he, oh, we got a lag spike, I see. Uh, so that kills one, one. Two, and one is left on one wound. Cool. I think that's probably enough to cinch it down. Oh, yeah, 100%. I, I think it was the last time it was. I'll pile but, this nerd in. Well, I'll punch your garage with four attacks. I'll with six attacks. One hit into the grot. Uh, grot dies. Um, and then mm -hmm. with a three inch consolidation, can he get back on? Barely, yes. Okay, uh, then you can just punch me back with that guy, and we can just go draw cards for the rest of you don't. Know, if... Yeah, I agree. Uh, One hit. Uh, no wound on that. And then, because you're strength five, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So then you can't score this turn, so you'll get a three in your... So I'm going to get a deploy for three. I 
think I don't think I can actually get capture anyway, so I'm just gonna discard it. Cool. It's gonna get me CP. Mm -hmm. We'll go on to your turn. I draw, I draw a cleanse, which is scorable. Yep, totally. Assuming these guys pass a battle shock first. Mm -hmm. I accidentally discarded it, but it is here. Yep. You just auto pass uh, it so you can get your cleanse. We yeah, we auto pass. Do I get an additional CP? Yeah, yeah. We did it! it we did it, matter. boys! No, you does, because now you can battle shot. You can tank shock on the way in, right? Uh, battle shot test on the hog. That's in combat. He passes, so he can fall back. Yep, yep. And just make sure that we have OC on this objective. He doesn't have a slugger, so we couldn't do it in combat. And we'd have had to kill Valerian anyway, because Valerian would dome him. So I will do my Overwatch into them with my sisters. Yep. So I'll have four flamers. Uh, that's going to be 17 attacks. Boop, boop, and we'll finish this bad boy up. Fives. Pretty good. That's going to be eight saves. No, AP, uh, no cover, I mean. Mm -hmm. No, no, no AP, AP on no either. Cover. Yeah. So five ups, six ups. All right, so, so oh, it's just the, boss, the boss left, but fortunately he touched the objective, so perfect. So he'll still do the cleanse. You can do the cleanse. Uh, can I take this objective from you without having to advance? You'd have Probably. to get a hell of a tank shock, I think. Oh wait, you got Gretchen in there. Oh, you can't take that. Yeah, so I think I think we can maybe take this one for another cleanse. Yeah, yeah, totally. I forgot about those dastardly Gretchen. Uh, let me move him about five point five because he was slightly over the line. Ah, you're good. It's it's easy. It's it's very clear you're gonna take this and get cleansed. And then you'll deny it to me as well. How much OC are you? I'm OC two each. No no vexilla here. So uh, okay, just, so just yeah, put them like here. Yeah, cool. So we don't need to do this too fancy because you're going to kill me next turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're cool. So this guy just stands cool. here, and this guy just stands there, and now you, now you got it. So we get cleanse. This truck uh, will not charge because you can probably pile into my Gretchen, and it's just a disaster waiting to happen. Cool. Uh, cool. So we'll just take double cleanse. We have defend stronghold. So I get you three. Uh, There's no way I get to your stronghold, so you might as well just score that. Yeah. So then in my last turn, I will get this objective being empowered. So I'll get three on this one. I'll get three on this one, and I'll get three here. So I'll get nine. Mm -hmm. Investigate and cleanse. Um, so I can't just cleanse here. And I can't investigate. Yeah, so we'll just redraw the investigate, because I can, I can cleanse at least. So I'll spend one CP to redraw the investigate. For attempting target, which I mean, I guess you're gonna say it's this one, probably, or this one. I mean, uh, I'll at least make it the middle one, so you have to work for it. But we don't actually have to roll out the working full. Yeah, for they're it. just gonna come here. I'm gonna shoot him with a grab tank and then charge. Yeah, cool. So I'll get tempting and I'll get um, whatever. So I'll get three on plans. I don't know if there is a scorable card in here. Uh, investigate signals, catch random here, put on them. I'll spend whatever CPI I drew to reach for a card. Uh, extend that alliance isn't doable. So cool. Do you get two for like holding your home or anything? You, you get have? three for holding your. You get three for holding your home. If you only have one unit oh, holding you your for army, extend, for extend, yeah, you don't get it. If that unit controls one objective, no matter. Cool. Nope. Which I do not. So um. So yeah, the big, the big takeaway for me for Big Hunt is I don't, you really miss a lot of the Wild Tribe stuff yeah. and not hitting on twos. That's a big deal. Those big hog units. So yeah. Those hogs aren't nearly as good when you hit on threes. That's a huge deal, actually. Yeah, That's I hadn't accounted for that before this game. Massive, massive nerf, actually. It really puts me off a of big hunt. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, I don't, I don't know if it puts me off a of big hunt, but it definitely puts me off of like eighteen hogs. That's for certain. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe a beast snagger heavy. Maybe you're taking a lot, a few more beast snagger trucks and stuff. I think you might still take. You're definitely taking the the scout hog unit for sure. Like that's gonna, that's gonna oh. be taken. 
Um, the, no doubt. The minus one to wound hog unit might be up in the air, though. Yeah, because in my head, they will auto include. Yeah. Obviously, auto include is a dark word. We don't use the auto include. But in my head, they were very hard to not put in the list. But seeing their performance, obviously, they, in fairness, they went into a Valerian Warden unit. So that we can't judge them too harshly. Yeah. Because that is one of the hardest units for them to kill. But there's a lot of units out there with minus one to hit. There's a lot of units mm -hmm. with armor at contempt out there. And so there's a lot of units that are hard for them to kill. I did not expect the the hogs to I mean, yeah, okay, like I agree with you. This bounce, yes, that's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. But I was really shocked by uh, everything else. I guess you didn't get to charge me with this squad though, right? The five plus was clutch for you. Because we do have a lot of mortal output. In any of the other shield hosts, it might be easier to kill them. Yeah, so that's one thing that I was thinking about, right? So, uh, and this, uh, let's, we'll just do our closing thoughts here and then we'll wrap it up. Um, but yeah, basically, I think that you have to play Talons. Because I, I built a few shield host armies, but without any mortal protection, you just auto lose. So, like, if I was playing shield host, host in this, I would have hit actually harder, but it wouldn't have mattered. Because I would have already been dead. Because every single mortal I did to yeah. you would not have been able to activate the shield host stratagem. Exactly. So every I, single one. <laughs> so what the funny thing is this detachment, like yes, guys, I know how it sounds because I, I just won the game, but like um we're we're both working out the kinks of these new codexes. This is one hundred percent probably easily the best detachment in the custodes decks, or the custodex as I like to call it. And uh because you have to have that five up mortal protection. If you don't have it, you just there's just there's just no gameplay. Um I am I am kind of impressed by how it played. I think it played a little bit better than I expected it to. To be honest with you, um, yeah, it, but like oh, good. they do drop opinion. easy, man. They drop easy now, but that's why you need Valerian. Like if you don't take Valerian squad, I think you're just silly at this point. Yeah, Valerian squad was good. Yeah. So yeah, I am um, because I think even even like the bully boys is obviously the big thing. Mm -hmm. They don't punch through Valerian's unit that easily. You're on four pluses against the twin swords, like. There's yeah. not that many attacks into them, and the wardens go four up, one up in that one turn. And even if the Megadoms have the four up, one up in, you're still putting a lot of saves on them. And, and I think I'm correct now, which I hate saying this, but I think the Caladius are 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 good in quotation marks now. Yeah, um, I agree. But yeah, anyway, the guys, biggest thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and finish. The biggest thing if you, the biggest thing if you hadn't had the Caladius in the, against this detachment specifically, obviously it's very niche. Sure. But if you didn't have the Caladiuses, and once I'd killed your Warlord unit, I'd have had so much more freedom to use the Prey. Because uh, you could have just chosen any character unit, right? Yeah, because right. that, that felt very limited to me. I didn't... Uh, that felt quite annoying with that army rule. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, well, hey, we're going we're gonna to call it, Gator, guys. It was a, a Custodes victory tonight, which felt good. 66-48. Uh, to um, And we will go ahead and just call it for the evening thanks so much for everyone's attention this is awesome if you guys want to grab games with josh or myself in the discord just definitely uh, feel free to hop in there in the member section and just post in the looking for a game tab uh appreciate everyone's attention josh you're a total rock star uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end the stream now and i hope everyone has an amazing freaking evening